I would not doubt that was you. Okay. Hey, you get messages soon? But I'd say my cat had a, an opinion. But I also don't know if she's going to stay out there long, so. We'll be starting soon. We're doing our setup right now, so just go ahead and listen to us babble. Hey guys. But I don't have you visually on yet. But you guys' conversations are public. Don't make me read the transcript later and find out if you were lying. This better be a permanent conversation. <laughs> Meow. Guido's already being the whistleblower. It's just not right. Come on, Dad. We're going to talk about it outside. Come on, Guido. Guido, take care of my light work. Where's my... No. I thought I would do the light work. I, I got to get my... Sweater. We'll go outside for a little bit, Guido, and then we're going to start gaming. Well, Come on. It's cold, though. It's freezing out here. Devin, can you bring me another set of batteries, please? You're a baby? Yes. Is that the same with this one that we're right next to it? No. Okay. These ones should be fully charged. Yeah. Oh no! You exist now. It's a nick in the uh, wrapping. It's naked? Yeah, well, I miss you more, Amanda. Meow! 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 
cat's giving me attitude because I brought her in quick. She doesn't like that. She's mad at you. Yep. You cannot ignore the black pussy. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Give me that look. Like you know what you did. Welcome to Marvel Superheroes Day, the game. So you guys are high up in the mountains. Just got done in with aliens and predator, and then you ran into uh, the box, which you are told you're able to carry it. You will be the guardian of it. I if you think I'm about it, right. do you remember when in the first one, the guy went to get it from someone who was looking for it? That person carrying it is known as a guardian. Actually, if you look at the other ones, I guess Frank was one. Frank was actually on the other side for a while. But they'll let you carry it. Um, they find it interesting because and you're ideal for carrying it <laughs> because if you start to play with it you'll lose all your power. So it's a strange safety catch they have. For if they come back to get you they know they can take you. They have weapons, specific ones of them, have weapons that do nothing else but attack as magical damage. So therefore, I put my life on the line for everybody. Yes. You don't see her. She's not there. She's little. <laughs> She's small. I wasn't looking at her. I was looking at him. Okay. What did I do? Um, now... You have never been innocent. You guys went ahead, <laughs> took a picture with Magnus and the uh, PUD, or the PUD, P Public Utility District, the prisoners of war, as well as a lot of Jews. Uh, before they headed out, one of them had like was allowed to have a camera. I think you find sometimes they, they would allow camera work within their facility. You know, it's... Kind of weird thing. Actually, I find some stuff in history that showed they did that. Which means that they had to think they were so right in what they were doing. All records would be positive to the boy. <laughs> so. Hey, um, and, uh, I need my glasses. I need my coffee. I need life. Okay. Everyone gets to make a roll on their site. Which is typical. Alright, roll those two. Percentage dice? The two dice? Good way to remember. A three. Hot three? Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't have to look that one up. I can tell you right now. I did not think it. No, you. I died. did a white. You pass out. 99. Red. Lucky. 54. On what? Uh, what's yours? Yeah, green. 34. 74. 74. So is that green, yellow, or red? I need to know. Yellow, green. Okay, so we have a green, a red, a what? Green. Green and nothing. So, first thing you guys notice, Miss America getting really drowsy. She does have odd things with her powers, though. Looks like she's going to pass out. You guys been through a lot. I pick her up. Okay. Make a strength check. Seventy. A yellow. Okay. As she's 
kind of try to make it sound like you're doing it because she's allowing it to happen. Now that she can do a lot to stop you. Yeah. Um, she's lighter right now. Which means her power shut off. She's to normal weight. Um, then, um, I need a reason check from the three of you. Start failing. Fail don't and drop that. it. Don't do that. Don't first do that. one you gotta I do is drop you. Yeah, just that's the first yeah. one. <laughs> no, uh, will be okay then. <laughs> Actually, that's supposed to be over there. There it is. I thought I had a different one. There. Water's so weird. My dice colors were weird. They don't work that way. Not that I do great anyway. Good thing I have so many people. That for, by my bad rolls don't destroy you guys yet. Let's see what happens today. For this is the most hardcore adventure I've seen yet in this campaign. Because it's got the haunt, the horror movie stars appearing in, in the setting of World War II, where there's like not a lot of defenses. Mm -hmm. I like your hat, Right. Well, is that the new star of, of liberty? Uh, <laughs> I don't care. Okay. I call it a liberty star. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Although we don't know what their respects would be, but it's just weird sometimes. Although we've had no problem with censorship, really. Cowbell. Amanda's and I know Cowbell. sometimes, <laughs> language-wise, we slip. But it's not like we're always talking that way in the game. It tends to be when I'm putting you guys with life's in danger. <laughs> then you're like, what the fuck, Devin? <laughs> Goddamn zero one. My head explodes. Okay. So, you failed the roll. You two see as the clouds part farther past the mansion. You see the city appearing, like I described before. You haven't noticed it, because you're facing the other way. And you're I unconscious. am unconscious. I can't see anything. And I'm holding her like a bowling ball. Yep. One more <laughs> psych roll for you two. Well, yeah, you two. You, you also. 98. I told you you're not allowed to... Would you get Will be able like that. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. What's your psych? Your weight. Excellent. Okay. And you? Barely a green. Okay. As you're feeling. Oh, I made a yellow. Okay. Oh, all over the place. In the snow. Kinky. While carrying her. What? I had to pee. <laughs> and you guys see. People coming from the city. And then, like a wave of energy, slams into you, and he passes out. And she's staggering. And she's getting heavy all of a sudden. And you feel queasy to the stomach. Magic. That's what it feels like. What do you do? See if I can talk to the people. Okay, so you stand there. Uh, make a endurance roll. Because it feels like you're, you're, 90, you're like falling asleep. 96. How about you? Endurance roll. Odds oh, three. Odd uh, three. You go out finally. You're the only one left. I'm napping. You gotta carry them all. The hell I do? I'm gonna take 
a skinwalker and make him change into a backpack. And then I'm going to shove you all in it and carry you like a baby papoose on my back. He's like arms stretched around your body, like tied up. I have rope. <coughs> oh, well, damn it. <coughs> Guess we stretched you out of shape for no reason. You're not, not elastic. That's later on, maybe. Later on, we do Fantastic Four. <coughs> hey, what's your problem? You right? Are you dying yeah, over there? Gone. You choked on what? You drink. Oh. Don't sip. choke on your dice. It's a silly thing to do. Okay. Ah, well. Give me a new page, because I use both sides. This is old, like, falling apart art paper, so it's like at least a use for it. And it works good for this. Now, let's stretch some stuff and move some stuff around. Right? Now, yes. make another reason check, Max O, or Rampage, your secret identity. Red. Red. You see a guy in the front of the group, an old-looking man. He's not going to stay. Find me the way. <laughs> How about your dice bag? No, it's like a Amanda's beanbag chair. Who's? Amanda. Oh, okay. Well, then that's a copyright infringement. <laughs> that's her intellectual property. Okay. He comes forth, has some huge sword on his back, but looks like 120 years old. He comes up, puts out both hands and does it again, and the wave comes flying forth. But in this time, you pass out, because it is a magical attack. Last time, the reason she got heavy, she lost her defenses. So, but you don't feel you're being attacked. Their attitude, they're picking up people and taking them up the hill. Like, protecting. Okay. She burps while lying up the hill. <laughs> they pick her up and then she burps. Because they carry her by the spines instead. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> And everyone passes out. Sure the, uh, see, basically the magic that was protecting the, the city from being seen. And who checked out his lab? You did? Make a reason check. This is going to be information that comes to you while you're unconscious. You remember? 62. <coughs> Green, yellow. Green? Green? Okay. See, I didn't do always red. Green. Uh, one of the reasons for this, this Nazi group being here was to look for a city that had, like, people that lived there were immortal. So, this is kind of like there was some information. Uh, Zemo had some information towards this direction. Um, so, this is where we begin, basically. Uh, do we have any question on karma or anything from last time? Any healing needs to be done? No. Everyone healed? Should be, yeah. Okay, because you will be, because you all wake up in a bath. Um, Okay, what I kind of picked up last time I mentioned to kind of like leave you with a cliffhanger information, kind of like the old Republic films. The description again is among the mountain peaks is, is, lies a small city. Buildings have unusual design, not quite Indian, not quite Tibetan. Tibetan. And only the really ones that they saw the town up here, which is only two of you, really see this. The others, you'll wake up inside. Um, You wake to find yourself in a long, narrow stone room containing the beds on which you and your friends are lying. Two wooden chairs and a table with a pitcher of water, bowls of rice, 
and hot tea. Beams across the ceiling at two foot intervals. There's a small barred window high on one wall. You can see the, f the feet of people as they pass by through that window. As the opposite wall is done with another barred window, but the door is propped open. So it's like you're not locked in. But there are barred windows. That's where you guys all wake up. Uh, any, since none of you are injured, you just wake up on the platforms. Um, they just basically like washed you. So we will start off with all of you are lying there naked on these slabs. But there are robes on the wall. I go over and grab a robe. Okay. Anyone else want to go grab their robe or? Max just stands there going, this is all the robe I need. Yep. Throws it on the floor. <laughs> no, I just cover up my junk. I oh, oh there. wait, I gotta cover my junk? Can I have your robe too? <laughs> Max, putting out that he is the largest person probably there. You're what, how tall are you? Seven foot nine. Yeah, oh, that's right. We know someone that used to be that big, but you're also muscular. People just assume you have gigantism back at this point. Probably a professional wrestler. Okay. I want to go with them. Grab a robe. Okay, you grab a robe. How about Skinwalker? Yeah, I might as well. I turn asexual. Yeah. Solve all my problems. No. Put a robe on. I guess you could be a symbol for LGBT community. The shapeshifter. Did you know? Just mystique information I was watching today on one of the YouTube channels. The mystique being someone's mother. Yeah. Um, she had a child with Sabretooth. He was the guy that caused all the trouble in the end against the X-Men. He was the guy that was in charge of the anti-mutant group. Uh, Creed? Yeah. Yeah. That's Mystique's mom. Mystique's mm -hmm. son. Yeah. She gave him up for adoption, but then he found out later on he had both his parents were active mutants. So he freaked out about it. He was a pure strain, probably with a a uh, Latin, you know, um, latent. Kind of like she comes up as a latent, but she's an early stage mutant. Later on, you will decide at the end of this all, when they're done with the Russian thing, they will disappear. You can decide if you want to create a new character or if you want to just drag this one along and make it a, a, your own character. She really doesn't appear again in, in World War II, so it doesn't matter. Or in the Marvel after that. Yeah. Because and she's not the one that punches out Adolf Hitler or anything, so you know. She does marry one of them that's that important. Was me. Huh? I thought that was me. I thought I was the one that Adolf Hitler. Well, that's what you keep telling everyone. Keep painting it on people's faces. Though. <laughs> you hear voices just outside the room, and then a tuition man appears in the doorway. He's incredible old and wizened, and has no sword with him this time. There's an aura of strength about him. His white beard reaches to his knees, and he wears long robes. With him are two guards. <coughs> In a kindly voice in English, he says, I am Chen Shi, my children. Hi, on the floor, you dip. A fan towel. I hope you are fully recovered, and I welcome you to our lovely city. Okay. Um, any of your belongings that are not on you are, like, available, like your staff, in another room. You all have quarters that... We're being cleaned up for you guys. Um, kind of feels a little bit like a monastery where you guys are staying. But you do hear laughter and stuff out those partial windows. Um, you do see occasionally someone will come through, and if you finish your bowl of rice, they will bring you more. Or if your tea gets cold, they'll bring more. So you're basically being taken care of. Although there are windows, the win all the windows are barred, but the door is wide open. And so are the rooms, the, the ones, which actually, it's just that they're propped open. You can close your rooms, too. If you go into your room and decide to lock the door. Uh, problem is there's no locks, though. 
But you could slide something Wanna in front of me. Wanna fucking bet I could barricade that shit. Well, you start looking around the room going, my, my, my bed might belong on this side. I'll sleep with my bed against the door. It wouldn't be on, with you guys, especially growing up in uh, Mutant War in the future, it wouldn't be unbelievable Sunny, you guys still slept underneath the bed. <coughs> Did you know, and you're not talking to your cousin, but did you know there was a couple of years between the period that her family died and you seeing her? Yeah, I know. Okay. Just make sure I was looking through your origin. I would correct the spelling on some of them because, well, you probably haven't seen the word sentinel. Don't bring that word up with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you didn't spell it right either. It starts with an S. <coughs> so, but that's all. Um, I was just looking through your origin and everyone's origin and stuff. I might so, later on add a little bit. In the future, there are sentinels. They're big. They're robotic. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll run into one. And these sentinels. You have one chasing you. The heads are easy to come off. Oh yeah, they started getting better. They started reinforcing them. And there's one sentinel that is following us. Who doesn't have a neck? He doesn't have a neck, and he is indestructible. So that's basically this to, to Rampage. His name is Rampage Nimrod. defense had developed apparently. Because <laughs> you look at the old pictures of uh, Nimrod, it was like there was the arms and then body. Yeah. It was like one crystal. He doesn't even have legs. He uh, floats. No, he has legs, but he floats. No. Some other comic books, he has no legs. Uh, he also went through various changes. He looks like a diamond sometimes, too. Could be. Well, no, no. That, that, that That's that thing in your pocket. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's in your room. Yes. Sitting there on a shelf. But it's wrapped up in, in uh, animal fur. Looks like and feels like Yeti fur. Says you felt Yeti fur. I'll keep it up. Okay. Um, he comes in, and then comes into each of you and asks you one at a time. Matter of fact, you can all roll a die ten. 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 Roll die ten. ten. The single numbered one. Single number one. It's easier to read. Yeah. Ten. I got tens. Everyone? No, I got an eight. You got an eight. Me and Chloe got tens. Okay, so we have. Bill um, got a ten too. Ten, ten, Corey. Eight. Lynette. And I guess three of you are like right next to each other. So we basically walked up to the hallway between all three of your rooms. And, uh,. You're not Fox. You're not Fox. Skinwalker. Yeah. Heard you wanted to shoot your bow today, but we had the wrong character. Yeah. And then uh, we have, then they go and find Rampage. Um, he goes, each of you, and wants to take you guys on a walk around, a walkabout, of the city. Show you some of the places, so you know where you are. I should say that the, it's not really a city. What I'm going to use for the area um, is just this, because they don't give me a map actually of the city, but we're using and it, the dead ends are the black areas. So this is not here, but this part is. This is where you guys start the healing rooms, okay? Because the rest of it works. Um, you go get your belongings. Then they decide. Chen Shea should be the following information. The rooms are in a healing room in the temple's lower levels. These rooms are in close proximity to Fantau, a huge stone in the center of the temple, the round room, and source of Ra Lundai's healing magic. Uh, you guys were recovered and saved after some of the ones they found had actually been infected or being kept in another area. Infected with what? 
with the things that rode the meteorite in. Aliens. Uh, yeah, could be. Um, we don't know where they came from. Could have been fired from Moscow. We don't know. Or the U.S. Whatever it is, they, ta they landed and started eating people. Um, they uh, upset a local sacred animal, the Yeti. And we've had to try to recover some of them and bring them back. Um, so we've had, uh, and then some others, of you know, you're not the only ones being recovered here. You guys were the ones that were unaffected, genetically. You guys didn't have anything in your bellies. Chest bursters. Um, also, we found an interesting, we saw your battles with the uh, alien soldier that showed up with them. Predator. My buddy. If so, uh, it seems odd because he didn't eat any of them. But if that's what you wish to, if that was his name. No, that's a species. Oh, okay. Well. I have his helmet. Um, yes, we left it in your room. It's in the closet. We didn't know what it was, but you were carrying it, so it must have been important. Yes, it is. Very. Um, Same with my staff. Yep. Uh, one night, Fantel, like the thing you guys saw, fell from the sky. Like a meteorite. He brings you to the center room, which actually in the center of the room has a gloating of oh, gloating. It, it's, it's, it hates you all. It's gloating. No. It, uh, floating, <laughs> uh, green crystal. It's floating in the air, kind of like magnetically held, like you see sometimes those toys and that, where something's held in between. It's just floating there. Um, oddly enough, when you approach it, you do feel, but he tells you, do not touch the stone. He's telling you about it, so, you know, but it is protected. So do not touch the stone. Just make your way clear of it. Um, we assume you didn't know of the city, uh, but we came to your rescue because if you did not deal with it, we would have had to anyways. Others that we found are checking out some that apparently they said there were others trying to get through the, the tunnel. You know, I have one of those things for that. What? I don't know where it is. It has the uh, elastic bands on it. It's a pillow type thing, remember? Why are you applauding your energy? <laughs> it's kind of egotistical. Mom, no! Okay. The, when the thing came in, it slammed into the earth. The, earth, <laughs> the molten earth slam, slam, came up and created what's known as Talon Rock. Talon Rock is the rock that the city sits upon. Um, community consists of, and he takes you out and then you see the city from above. All the towers, the open yards. Um, everyone make a reason check. Or an intuition check. Do an intuition check. <laughs> Fucking junk food being thrown at me. Green. Green? Uh, 85. What's I your... I have a chime, Mom. Off of what? What's your um, intuition? Good. Good. 85? It's yellow. What'd you get? Red. And what's... I got green. Okay. And you have a yellow? Yellow for him. Okay. I'll take care of his, you can take care of his. We'll do that, how's that sound? Okay. Um, that was a dog it, attack. I did not know my ringtone was on. <laughs> Next phone that rings, I'm taking it and putting it in phone jail. Phone jail, then all the viewers end up in phone jail. We'll put up a, a CG of, of uh, bars. <laughs> Film jail. <laughs> Okay, as you get near that that thing, you feel your re regeneration increases, but you feel queasy. So, it is affecting you, 
but not in a negative way, but it is magic. Okay? He walks around. Uh, the name Fantel means life giver. That's the stone. Heals wounds, illnesses, and retards aging. It provides the heat and energies needed to build the city and the dome above it. The room, the healing rooms have a pool. What they do is they run water, glacier water, over the crystal and collect it in a basin underneath it and it goes out to all the, um, the healing pools. So that's how they would heal you if you near died or actually in this case it states if you had dead, died in that last battle. They could have taken you back just like Zemo's. So Zemo's pool may have stolen some of this water. It smells similar. You guys would have noticed that. Okay. Um, they can, okay. He shows you to the people from a higher tower. You guys climb for a while. Get out there. Everyone make a strength check. Some of you it's easier than others. 84 red. You got it. Hot one. No. 71. Is it 17? Green. I get all the bad ones. What's your endurance? Or strength? Mine? No, his. I already got yours. Uh, my strength mm -hmm. is excellent. Okay, what's your roll? You got a green. 17. Okay. These two fall behind the stairs. Climb. You guys make it up there all right. Must That's be the military good. training. And then you, it was no problem. You, the heaviest thing you're carrying is your own ass. You got an 89. We got a 13. No, I had 17. Oh. 17. They get up there, it's just later, it takes you guys, you're winded when you get to the top. Could be also an effect to the uh, higher um, elevation. Thinner air. You guys start to feel, feel the difference on the air as you're coming up. Um, he will tell you, as everyone shows up, he'll wait for them. Very patient old man. Community members, about 500 people. As he reaches out his arm to them all, you see them all walking around. Only 1% of the people here die each year in the extreme old age of from around 200 to 300 years old. No children are born. Um, as he then walks into another tunnel and goes back down. Uh, taking you guys down with him, you'll see windows showing out. Is that door locked over it's there? It's a priority. Uh, she, yeah, it should be. Yeah. Um, yeah, I understand. Uh, but it is. She's just looking. She's actually eating her hard food right now. Curing death or severe wounds takes uh, about a day. Exposure to the to the energy. Um, well, it can have a you know fine feel upon yourselves, but uh, you know so you guys are free to walk around, check out the town, the city. Um, you will be staying in the healing chambers at night now, just to assure. That because uh, you f freshly entered into your the mom told me to. <laughs> no, no squirreling. See, moms are listening. Um, lightning bolt. I was going like this the moment after I did it. You didn't read it quick enough, did you? No, I didn't. Um, you're fast. Do you have any questions? He asked you, the old man. Think of like, um, like one of the guys for remember the Kung Fu series, and the guy who had the long white beard. Think of someone like that. He has a sword that's almost as tall as him, but it's just on the wall for display right now. But she, he saw her, him carrying it as a defensive. Yeah, that was one. He. <laughs> well, sure. That anyone's room, anything you need. We have some events coming up that you will, <laughs> that you will, you know, you will take part in. So you'll see what our life here is about. You, you know, do need to adapt. Um, you've not been here as long as some others, so you can leave the barrier. <coughs> the barrier, <coughs> the barrier that protects us, stops most of us from ever leaving too. But that takes a while. That barrier scares me. Well, it should because it's not safe. But things about them, we're dealing with issues and we're bringing things in. Others, I have, we have another one of yours, um, a man in an iron mask, who uh, we found wandering around lost below and brought him in. Um, and he's been helping us out. 
May on I some of our hunts. Frog. A frog? Yeah. Why do you want a frog? Do you, a, a real one? Yeah. Why do you want a frog? Why do you want a yeah, frog? Yeah, that is a good question. What? Bringing in a frog would take the use of the crystal. How important is this frog to you? <laughs> All you feel is this big finger poking at you. Why do you want a frog? Does this guy have in the armor happen to be red in coloring? Like his skin? <laughs> his armor. No, he doesn't wear any armor. He was mostly na nude when we found him. We've given him pants since then. But he doesn't seem to be annoyed by the cold. Did he have like a crystal thing on his chest? No. The only thing he had was some uh, some stuff he was carrying with him. The iron mask that's bolted to his head that we can't remove even with the help of the crystal. Um, I can remove it. If you wish to talk to him, if you catch him, and sometime you can ask him about it. He's walking around this city. He also is not, you know. But he is in a different set of healing rooms. Uh, it was obvious that he was in a different... Well, in this war that we can find a different grouping from you guys. But you are a fourth group of people we found. We found um, a group of people that were kept as prisoners. We found the soldiers that were keeping them down. We found almost ruling class. And then we found you guys. Did you, know, did you find anybody by the name of Zemo? Uh, no. We did not, but uh, the one that came in, um, he has, he does not know his name. So you can talk to him, but he has given us nothing. I could but he's helpful. Well, if somebody could point me his direction, I could go through. Well, yes, or we can just set, you know. or we can set up some time <laughs> that you join him on a hunt. He's been helping recover some of the Yetis for right. us. I feel, we fear that if the people knew of our guardians, they would find, they would hunt and then find us sooner or later. They protect the walls. But this uh, aliens, as you mentioned, disturbed it and scared them off. I saw Hopefully that. we've not I found... I ran into one of your yetis. Well, hopefully we don't find anything of an infected yeti. I just go around... If you think about a, a xenobite that came out, of, or not xenobite, but an alien that came out of the belly of a yeti. Xenomorph. Yeah, xenomorph. Could. <laughs> Could happen. <clears throat> Be horrible. Not good. Okay. What do you guys wish to do? You're on your own. We'll start with Corey. Now you guys can choose as groups to hang out, or you can run off on your own stuff. You're free. To look around the city. If there's anything you need that is not tech related, we can probably get it for you. Um, I you still want food want my rice and tea? purple frog. You don't get a purple frog! You don't get a frog. Do you want an, a live one or a ceramic one? I want a ceramic one. I you can find one. No, you said you wanted a live one. That's all right. You can I find ceramic ones. A ceramic one. I am not going to argue with you, Missy. Okay, what do you guys want to do? Start with Corey. Thank you want to look for a ceramic pot? Corey, roll on your intuition. What's your intuition? Pull it if you need. Intuition is. It's short on this side. In but that's all right. Incredible. Incredible. I, I have to take tomorrow. I am going to tape this damn tablecloth down. Yeah, you do. Wrong. What? Hot seven. Yeah. Let me see. That's not a real number. <laughs> no, Let him roll that again. Why? Give him a chance. He can't find a. He's in to. Okay, fine. Up behind the mountains, he cannot currently find a purple ceramic frog. Yay! I'm in to return. Okay, that's Here, all. Here, I'll see if I can find him a damn purple frog. You're gonna help Miss America find a purple frog. Yes. What do I use? Uh, intuition. Ninety. Your scary face for you know, frumpy face. Ninety. I got my stole. My cookie stolen. Ninety. Got my cookie stolen from oh. me. <laughs> Ninety. Good job. There you find a, a purple ceramic <laughs> frog. Someone's out there with their supplies out front. 
Um, or, well, you guess. They have a display of these purple frogs out front. What do you do? How much do you want for the pur uh, purple frog? Ah. Oh. English. Yes. Um, what do you have? I mean, I can take trade. I, I'm not expecting you with the new ones that were brought here. Oh, let's leave with you. <laughs> well, um, that would be an entirely meaningless thing to do, but... Did you understand that we are immortal in this city? Therefore, we don't produce children. <laughs> and that's all that comes out of value out of that. Besides, I wouldn't bring children into this world. Um, just take the frog. It's a gift. You're new to the town. Yay! He seems happy. For me, he was rather like, you know, kind of blasé person. He seems happy to have brought someone some happiness. Brings a little smile to his face. Hey, take my frog. Thanks. Hey, Skinwalker, what are you doing? I'm just going to walk around and start checking out the town. Okay, do you have anything specific Whoa. you're looking for, or are you seeing your sights? Just seeing the sights, just look around, see what's going on. Okay. Find more information. Make an intuition roll. Intuition. Intuition is good. 99. Okay, as you're wandering around the other side of the town, just kind of looking around, um, you notice someone about 10 feet up, you know, if you think of this area, it's like, a, oh, kind of laid out like a hotel lobby area is. There's like a lot of rooms. It's all built into the walls, um, real, like, curved walls and stuff like that. Um, but up one level, about 10 feet, on a, uh, a porch kind of thing out the window at someone's place, you have one at your place, too. You go out and just step out on it and get some sun. Um, some guys up there just kind of looking around and... Uh, has a silver mask on his face, like bolts into his head. Just kind of looking around outside. Walk up there and talk to him. I see that up there. How do you get up there? See if I find some stairs. Um, a lot of different stairs. So make a intuition check. Thirty-six. Intuition is. Intuition is good. Were you guys passing some secret messages? <laughs> Did you roll 46 or higher? 36. No. You can't find the room to his area. And when you come out and look again, he's not there anymore. He never really noticed you. He didn't, like, see you and wave or anything like that. He was just looking outside at the sun and that. Um, the sunlight into this area is kind of a odd tint of purple. Like the sunlight hits the field and the, the violet light comes through a little bit more than everything else. So it's got a nice, a, a strange little like soft blue How are we dealing all. with the immortals as in black, bowl, and... No. Nope. Okay. Uh, this looks like a... You're my, you're my partner in crime too. Tibetan, uh, one of those fancy cities. This Excuse is the me. city that remember you in Indiana were getting the information for? This is that city. You guys found that city. He's still looking for it. You guys are special. They, they let you in. Um, you. I'm looking for a bakery so I can get cookies. Okay, make a roll on your Twitter. <laughs> they don't, they don't know what a cookie is here. They may have some kind of sweet foods. 79. Oh no, well, I, I usually go to Asian restaurants and they don't have the best desserts, but they have some good food. Now what? I got 79. 79. First of all, you don't get cherry chocolate. <laughs> Intuition what? Intuition is typical. You didn't look it up, did you? You got a sheet right there. 79. I made it. Is a green. I didn't know like green, yellow, red. Green. Green. Yeah, you find a place. Um, they have a little like muffin cakes. About no chocolate. This size. Um, they are a sweet bread <laughs> with kind of a sprinkled powdered sugar on it. 
How much? Um, well, he looks at you. Uh, how much do you want? I just want one. Okay. We call it a sample. I have one. She doesn't get any! You're not with her. You're with her. Yeah, but we walk past. She doesn't get any! Okay. <laughs> She's on a diet! Your spikes She's... are looking pretty big! Go right ahead. If you like them, you'll come back for more. But I also know you are one of the recently joined outsiders. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that the Hell, master oh has either. some... Uh, work that you guys will be able to do. Everyone in this really village works. Me. If you want some cakes, I mean, I don't even, like, go ahead. I don't even give them all you out or sell on. them all to our own. We just trade mostly, so. Mm -hmm. But you haven't established anything yet. So if you wish to take some, you know, I'll share it with you. Thank you. How many do you want? Maybe a dozen. <laughs> you, can, you can have one. Here, you can have one. Here, just take one. Take one. <laughs> she takes all yeah. of <laughs> I got some cookies. Cookies? Yeah. No. Not, not for the muffin stealer. <laughs> they go ahead and give you a bowl, a bag for it. They're like, I hope you enjoy them. You haven't tried them yet. They're just like, they're sweet and they look like cookie shape. I'll take it. My cousin stole my cookies. He's got sugar. Okay. Cookie I don't know sugar. what you're talking about. But here, enjoy these. If I get my cookies back, I'll bring you one. Okay. Nope, I'm going to eat them all. I'm going to help him again. <laughs> okay. As you guys are kind of coming back to the healing rooms. Um, and, you know, for night time and get your dinner. Um, if you guys have anything else you wish to eat, we might be able to give you something similar to that. Pizza! No! I got my um, look around the place, things you'll notice is there's no glass in any of the windows. There's just kind of a lightweight lattice, lightweight lattice work. Um, also you notice around that statue, the thing, the green, there's like statues of, uh, praying people. All, at all four corners. The four corners line up with north, south, east, west. Um, you guys all head to your rooms, get your food. Any special requests you wanted? Did you want something else? Are you happy with rice and tea? I mean, you've had so much more choices, I'm sure, when you were living in the outside than we are used I to here. I am happy with rice and tea. Okay. How about you? Max? Max. What kind of soups or stews do you oh, got here? Um, we can bring you some if you feel you're ready. Yeah. Do you do you wish meat in yours or a vegetable? All right. Whatever. You're large, so we'll bring you we'll bring you some 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 uh, meaty soup, some meaty stew. That's I mean, large. whatever fits your guys' culture around here, you know. I mean. Um. A lot of us eat what's the basic stuff because that's just after a few hundred years. It just it all tastes the same anyways. Yeah. But, you know, you don't have that problem, so please enjoy. Uh, we can make it for you. Uh, a lot of the cooks will just relish the chance to do so. Alright. Okay. Um, how about you? Rice would be fine for me. Okay. You lie, you want stew. <laughs> how about you? I'm happy with what I got. Okay, she's sitting there. She'll have a salad. Cakes, I'm like cakes in her face. I take I take them away. Ah! Everyone make an endurance roll. Eighty six. Ninety six. I made it barely with the green. Okay. Nine. 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 He rolled a nine. Okay. Uh, they brought some uh, rice cakes with your uh, rice. Because they saw you eating cakes anyways. These are a little... Uh, you want them back? Smaller, compact. Oh, yes. You don't have to like them. After... 
Now, no one failed their roll. Everyone enjoyed their game. Nine. Nine. <coughs> you lie. <laughs> you are not happy with what you're eating. <coughs> you would like to have something else. I would like to have something else. I would like to have... She two. wants pizza. I do. I want pizza. Well, what is this pizza? I will explain. Okay. If you ever decided, what? It's flatbread. Okay. With tomato sauce. Okay. Cheese. Okay. And meat. Oh. And vegetable. And you bake it. So you're a meat eater. <coughs> yeah, I can do that. And it, it could also just be vegetarian too. Um, you make your roll. Me? Yeah. Okay. They brought you food. Um, you, uh, except for chunks of meat, these are like cubes of like real heavy like bison or buffalo type meat. You don't know. And it's on top of your pizzas. <laughs> like inch by inch squares. So you just put meat on it. Mm -hmm. um, the same kind of meat is in your uh, stew. It's really kind of a, a little more chewy for you. It actually feels like a little more hard. But also you saw when wandering the market, they have Take little like, time, um, oh, hard, fat cubes that they just chew on forever on their in their mouth and around little necklaces, and it's they see it as sweet. So, um, like sugar cubes. Yeah, but they actually taste more like lard to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like they're they're actually cheese. It's a cheese that is so hard, but you actually can chew it up, though. Okay. Um, anyone, everyone behaving? No one's, like, going to go steal the cube or do something bad like that? No. Okay. No. You be nice to your people? Okay. To be nice to us. Um, then we can go to... Uh, before you... The next day is a large, they bring you to a large park like central plaza dotted with trees and flowers. At its opposite end, a long boulevard leads to what appears to be the main gate out of the city. Two fountains, like the ones inside the temple's flank, its entrance, and are fed by an aqueduct system. All the buildings seem to be old. What appears to be homes are to your left of the city, buildings to your right. To the right of the main gate ahead of you is an open market. That's where you guys have been kind of wandering around. Temperature here is about 75 degrees. And the humidity is a high, I should say Fahrenheit. And the humidity is a high over is a high end. Overhead, a clear dome shelters the city from the snow and the cold of the mountain peaks which surround it. Kind of creating an almost mirror effect from the inside. You know, because it kind of does the same thing to the outside. That's why the people don't find it. Oh, there it is. Um, anyone today want to do anything out there? Look around more? Um, cause problems? 15 bucks. Well, everyone roll a die 10. <laughs> 6. 10. 7. Two. Okay. What? You guys just wander around the town. As you want coffee? You. Yeah, there's coffee. I'll get some while. During the break. You. I will take that thing with, away from you. <laughs> with the funny things on your back. It's something that came from where I. Oh, uh, uh, the guy. Them you off. Turn around, look. I'll see who's turn talking to you. Look and see who's talking. Because the door's wide open. It's it's a guy in this like, big iron mask. I yelled, purple. What? We heard about you. You're one of the other people that came before us. I guess. I don't know who I am. I forgot that. But I um 
they gave me a place, so I helped them out. Mm -hmm. I heard about a lady with strange implants in her back, and I, I just wanted to see if, well, if they looked anything like this, and he holds the mask. I don't know where it came from, and maybe if you had the same marks on you, you would know, but I guess not. Sorry for your time. And he looks down and starts walking away. <coughs> Awful. He is like a well-muscled guy. He's also carrying a gun and a sword. I'll stop. I'll come out of the room and be like, hey, maybe I can help. What? I Why have, do that? with your mask, my cousin has extreme strength. Maybe he can help you with it. Um, we tried that with the great crystal. And uh, apparently the mask is attached to the bones. And if you just pull on it, it pulls on it. It hurts. So I just leave it. It seems to have been screwed on somehow. I don't know by who. But I feel that they were a horrible person. And I think I'm being looked for, but I don't know by who. Make an intuition check. Who? Nope. Okay. He uh, goes wandering off. Out into the... Well, into the other... He basically goes down the hall and turns left where there's a whole other healing wing. So he might just have a room down there. Do you keep following? Yep. Okay. But I try not to let him see me this time. He stops about halfway. <laughs> Or 20. No. And he just keeps going to his room. Walks on in. I'll go find my cousin and be like, hey, I and know. And he closes the door behind him. I know where the guy is staying. And you hear a screeching a sound as he, like, after he closes the door. I'm going to run in and try to get the door open and see what's going on. You go open his door? Like, you open it a little bit and it hits the um, end table it's in the room. Like he's put furniture in front of the chair, the door. He's like, he opens it, he moves the thing, opens it. Yes? Caroline, what is it? My name's not Caroline, it's Luna. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I, I don't even know why I said that. I just said, I'm sorry, your, your spines do not look the same as what I have here. The metal is entirely different. I almost would say that's bio-organic. Make another um, intuition check, or reason check. Is it close? Odd six. Okay. Um, he's like, well, I uh, was going to need to rest, and um, I'm not comfortable doing that yet with the door open. So if you could forgive my shyness. And Wait, he closes I, the door. I have to go hunting with him later. And and closes and pushes the table thing in front of it. So, the room seems dark. Like he's like hung something over the window too. I think I know who it is. So I've seen that in uh, a certain movie. So, Ooh. well, this whole thing's got a bunch of references out of different things. Okay. Um, everyone do a sight check. 93, which is a red. 51. 51. I barely mate with a green. Okay, green, green. green. What? Uh, 51. Which is, what's your intuition? Or your, uh, is that what it? No. Is that what I say to roll? Intuition. What? Psych. 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 Yeah, what's your psych? Excellent. You roll a what? 51. That's a green. <coughs> Red. All of you. We'll start with Corey. What's your lowest stat? My lowest stat is... He has three different ones. Pick one. Yeah, typical. Um, Doesn't matter, really. really? Whatever, whatever you want to best strength. Your strength? 
Okay, write down a plus one to your strength and put down a plus one to your health. You actually, your strength comes up a little bit. Not much. Here. <coughs> okay, um, we'll go to skin. I got 51, so. Um, what, what's your lowest stat? My lowest, I got either a gym, uh, let me see. Uh, Either reason or intuition or... Pick one. It doesn't matter. It's what you would best have, you'd want to get a plus one. We'll just make it simple. Anything you wanted to work on? If it's one of the last three stats, it's going to raise your karma one point. If it's one of the first four stats, it's going to raise your strength. Yeah. It just stats. It won't affect other things. It's basically I'll take it to my endurance. Okay, plus one to your endurance, plus one to your health. Okay, what's your lowest, mountain man? My reason! What is it? Good. So you want a plus one to your reason and adds a plus one to your karma. <coughs> you, Luna, what's your lowest? I'll do my intuition. Add one to your intuition? Wait. And add one to your karma. What one did you? I did it for my... Endurance? Endurance. We got it put on. Oh wait, what's that? He did it to his endurance. Plus one to your health. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's the reason. And I have a plus side. one to my karma. Yes. Okay. Um. Ah, Amanda, you said that word. He comes into the room. Come All of you home. has gathered, you guys. Um, today is a special day for us, um, and we wish you to join us. My children, we of Orlandi have lived as prisoners time out of mind. Many is tired of this captivity and seek release in the one thing Fantales seldom allows, death. He walks to a arena. They see a bunch of people out there with like daggers just standing there saluting towards the uh, thing. Um, the Yeti gives us means to fire, to find that death, honestly, or, or uh, honorably. And at that point, the gates open, and uh, a Yeti comes into the arena with all the people with the daggers. At first, he looks kind of confused looking around. There's all these people watching. So he walks forward, looking at him. You see people start to jab out at him and stab him. Um, he finally seems to get pissed and starts just like killing people. But each of them try to stab him a little bit to push him on. And they all sound like they're looking for death. They want to die. They've been alive too long and they hate this whole thing. And this is the only way to die honorably. To escape the dome. Um, all you guys also make a reason check. I'm going to walk up to the Yeti. And you can't. Um, He's down in the arena. You can jump down in if you want, though. 60. Yellow. Yellow. 60. On eight. On eight. What'd you get? I got 60, and I got and mine's good. Good. 60. That's a green. On his what? Um... Damn it, I keep reading and I keep missing stuff. Um, what'd I say? Uh, green. On your, what's that? My, uh, uh, Reason? Reason? Yeah, reason check. Good. I remember what I'm checking now. Good. That's good enough? I just need a green roll. Who made a green roll? Everyone but her. Luna. And him. And him. You two notice, the next morning, you all have kind of a strange green glint to your eye color that matches the uh, crystal. We're being kept here. It's going to be harder to leave. Uh, he steps, the guy speaks up again, Chen, Chen She. Um, but the Yeti do not often venture near our city as much as they have now, so we, we don't get to bring them here often. Those like yourselves who came here from the outer world 
hunt the Yeti for us using traps in the snow and bring them back for the celebration. He kind of looks uh, enamored of the whole situation going on. But he also looks kind of concerned because he's sad it came to this. Exposure to Fantel is, is yet of short duration. And the pain of separation still of the light for a while is not affecting you guys yet. Tomorrow you will become hunters. You will go with the man in the iron mask and he will show you how we do this. When you return with your prize, you too shall be given a mask and a place of honor amongst us as a job, as, a, as you live. A mask? Yes. Um, you ain't screwing one of those damn things on my head? No, it's not like that. It's just simply who you are. It's worn for ceremonies and things. You'll notice now looking around, everyone in the stands are wearing masks. The people down below are not, but they're also begging to be killed. The this Yeti isn't, he seems aggressive when he does it. He grabs someone and eats, he like tears through five or six at a time sometimes. But they keep having to jab him to keep make him keep going after I a while. I have to go down there and kill them all. He looks at, Fen Chen Shei looks at you weird. You, but you are not of the sacred creature. That's why its fur was used for your item. That, oddly enough, when any of us, including me, touched it, we were shocked. You have the guardian of that box. Well, apparently it knows you. Kind of like the crystal knows us. And you suddenly feel like, um... I don't think I'm about to steal. <laughs> make a percentage test roll. For your reason. And then you too. You have a feeling of the labyrinth. The thing that spun oh, in the oh. center. I wasn't there. No. It, it, you shouldn't see it. This is from inside the cube. They said it sounds like the same kind of situation to them. They are trapped. Although given Thanos. Or pop-ups. Oh, okay. Um, do you have any... You have your weapon. Do you have any weapons? Or are you just one of his concubines? I have one of his concubines. Oh. I don't have a weapon. We will try to get you a different room then. We understand how... Uh, oh, relaxing such activity is for those out from the outside, at least for the first generation or so of being in here. After a hundred so years, it gets boring. You know what he's a Yeah, I'm going to hook up, basically. Well, you must take advantage of that deal. <laughs> You're no longer an issue. He's got a cutie over there that's, that's going to handle his salami. <laughs> Skinwalker. Yes. Oh, lady, him, though, so originally, I was looking at the story. Do you remember Destiny, who ran around with Mystique all the time? Could tell the future, stuff like that? They couldn't break the comic code back then. But originally written, they were supposed to be lovers. And Mystique became a man. And that's what created Nightcrawler. But that's why that whole story didn't go through. Yeah. But that was, originally, it was a plan, but they couldn't have lesbians at the time, so they gave out. They are just her lifelong friend. But Mystique is from the 1700s. Now, that's his character's origin. He's all fucking bugs. Oh. It's probably because we, like, had all this bread and shit, and the dogs, like, tested little parts all over the place. The sourdough. The dog found one of the rolls and just like chewed it up and finally got to break apart and dragged it around the whole house. I picked up what I could. No, I got bit by two of them already. Oh, are you talking the other ones? 
No, the ones that are flying right now. The gnats? Yeah, I got bit by two of them. That's weird. Don't you people, you taste so good in bugs. Good thing I don't taste good. I'm not, no, I'm not do you want to go hunting playing. the next day? I do. Yes. Nope. You can't do any damage to the fucking thing. Yeah. Your concubine stays. You can't go! No, you, you're you not expecting something to keep such a large man happy. I mean, I don't think our women want to do it. And um, you're important in that service. You already have a job. We will find you. Hey, they bring you a mask. It says slut. No, it looks I like a know. masquerade mask. <laughs> they completely leaves the mouth open. But oh God. it has kind of a thing that ties onto it. It looks, although the fabric's thin enough she can see through it, it looks like she's blindfolded. But it's like a mask. Kind of like you'd see Daredevil wear, was wearing in the first movies. I can't see anything. No, you yeah, can you see can. fine. It's you like see seeing that. through um, gauze. You but it. it's your mask. You don't have to wear it all the time. It's just for um, special events, such as this hunt. I take my if you don't have the mask, mask, people assume that you're lot. unemployed. And if you're not a, an advantage to the city, um, you will never get a chance to face... Sacrifice. What sacrifice? The Yeti. The one we watched. No. It went for a while. Finally, because they're jabbing, they kill the thing. But he'll have to go find another one tomorrow, so they can do it again. And everyone cheers the whole thing. They're happy at the savage slaughter. But when it's all done, the only one who gets a burial is the Yeti. It's given a special burial. But because they're sacred. The others are dead. Just piled into a... Mass grave? Yeah. They're just dragged off and dropped off. And they light it. It's like a pyre in the center of the... Uh, remember that big plaza you saw? Anything. Right in the center of that. They burn them. It's kind of like uh, what's yeah. Logan's Run. But they're all happy to go. Um, hunting. Where are you? The question is, can we show them our powers, or should we wait? Well, first of all, yeah, I'll, show, you my, I'll show them my powers. I'll punch a mud hole right into your face. Depends <laughs> on what powers you're talking about, because um, you gotta keep it. Oh, there they are. It's a joke. I know. The, the character, um, they already know, look at her. They know you guys are weird. Look at him. You are not regular people. Look at the man in the iron mask. Until you find a usage, they're more worried. What you could do or not, they have a crystal that makes them immortal. They've rather been normal, accepting you guys for what you are. They're not bothered like any of you look strange. You occasionally run into someone that has been mutated by magics. And they look odd. Some you can say even maybe have some abilities. Like you'll see someone like using mental abilities to shape the pots. But it's just developed over time and most of the magical maladies that happen to people, they're looking for a way to die. And there's a backlash and it mutates them, but they still live. They cannot die except for the hands at of the Yeti. Yes, you're going to hunt, hunt, the, hunt the animals. Tell your mom. <laughs> so, you meet the man in the iron mask. You're brought to him. He has with him a handgun that looks strange. It's not a regular gun. It looks more like an overgrown um, water pistol with chambers like of some kind of liquid. And he carries a nice broadsword. Make a reason check. Who? Oh. You. I need to know. 92. Okay. You notice something odd about him. 
besides the whole thing, his arms are covered in needle marks. And like where they were bolted or something for a while. Yeah. Kill the nets. We got it one more uh, bug thing. We'll put it up there soon. Why we, we don't... Oh! There's apples. I'll check. I'll throw the apples then. We've used them. Some of them. We had an apple cobbler there one night. Um, the what apples apple are doing oil? it. Apple cobbler. Okay. Um, so, you two, or three. Wait, who are you? What do you do? I mean, what's the reason for your spines? Are you a hunter? No. No. So you're a gatherer, maybe. Right. Do you have a purpose to one of these two? Or are you one of their concubines? <laughs> no, I cause more chaos than you think. Oh. <laughs> no, she doesn't. I am the crazy one of the group, pretty much. Oh. <laughs> you fucking liar! <laughs> you little girl do not make... No. They come No. Okay. No. What do you does she need chaining? That's what we do to the ones that lose their mind. And it she, sometimes happens okay. when they come through the, the barrier. She is not crazy. But why would she think she is? Because she's a spoiled, rotten little mama's girl who thinks she knows everything and wants to be like me. She's a rebellious young little brat. <laughs> All she knows how to do is do dark force manipulation. She is a portal maker. Oh. Will you be needing her on the hunt? No. If you want to chain her up, chain her up. If you want her to stay in her but room... But she needs a use. I mean, for herself to understand what her purpose is. Have this is Chen Shea talking. Have her help with Laundry, if you need it. Okay. She could be a gatherer. She could work in the kitchen. Okay. Then she's a servant. That's she fine. needs to learn. That's fine. We'll put her to work. He walks off. Um, some people from the kitchen come to get you. These people keep talking about weird foods. Maybe you can explain what they want. This like, pizza just never works. Oh, I can show you what pizza is. So you're going to help them in the kitchen to make these weird foods. Like, not to put very big chunks of steak meat on the pizza, but thin layers. And when they said cheese, they put just a, a cube of cheese. No. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't grate it and put it on there. They did like you get um, goat cheese in chunks, melted. That's what they did. Break time. Is it time? You're Nine about ready to go to your hunt. Uh, you two? What weapons or anything do you need? Taking my staff. You're taking your staff? Don't need a weapon. Don't need a weapon. Interesting. Is that, is that why we found you with feathers? He's a shapeshifter. They basically caught him half formed. Unconsciously, he tried to escape. He's a shapeshifter. Yeah. He was trying to do a phoenix. He just had feathers. As far as he got before he passed out. Yeah, I know. That's why. Well, that's non copyright sounds. NCS. But it's also quiet enough. I'm hoping it doesn't pick up. We'll find out for sure. But we're going to do our break. We're going to uh, come back and hunt with the man in the iron mask. Some. Uh, Yeti, you also got one guy, <coughs> one guy who looks like probably a soldier who was found. Um, he doesn't look fully healthy, though. Like, he's been through a lot. He's been healed some, but he's definitely got more of a green to his eyes than the rest of you. So he may have been actually dead when they found him. Uh, but he seems to be doing what the man in the mask tells him to do. Although the man in the iron mask doesn't seem to know why. I'll even mention it to you because you're so big. He's in good shape for a man who's like six foot. 
wonder if that's Zemo. Because he did go still. off the radar. Um, make an intuition check. 99. His sword has a pommel of the Iron Cross. But you don't know where he found the sword for sure. But he seems quite adept in it. He says, when we get close enough, we can find him and track him. Where, where, what is your capabilities? I can track. You can track. How about you? Uh, depends if I go into an animal. My what would you like to uh, share with us? What form? I'm probably going to go the, uh, the white tiger. A what? White tiger. What are they? Tiger. It's a big cat with stripes. Usually orange. Oh, I think there's some of those in something like that inside the zoo I saw the other day. I didn't know what they were. So you have one. You can become one of those? Yes. Oh. Well, we don't want to eat it, we want to trap it. It does no good to bring a man dead. But you might be good to scare it into an area where we could get it easier. If I can get it with my gun, it'll be safe. It, it, it fires some kind of sticky stuff, and they get stuck. I don't know. I, I don't know why I have it, but it works. Um, I think I know who you are. That would be amazing if you could tell me. Because I do not know. But let's do this for the people that, that feed us. <laughs> now make a roll on your intuition. I honored. His eyes are not turning green. It's not the place affecting him at all. So off you go. Every day break. I think it's who we're fucking looking for. You think it's Zemo? Yes. Well, do you want to like sick the box on him, or you know wait till you know who it is? You may be right. Tell me. <laughs> he doesn't know. There's you no reason, do. Only reason, you know. Shake your head, yes or no. I can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> do you have a dear God power like in Tunnels of Trolls? Yes, I do. <laughs> Are you using vagina voodoo? Yes, I am. <laughs> Shake your head, yes or no, if I'm She's right. Annoyed. Okay, I'll give you one more. Well, no, there's one more thing. <laughs> His ring shows the aunt and aunt. I think that's the name of the game. The group. The ones that were uh, into the uh, mystical side of the Nazi thing. Or it's the priest that was there. No, Zemo's. You're the pretty sure he's not. Hmm? Zemo's the one of them. Hit it. He's also been able to sword fight with Captain America. That's right. We got him. I'm gonna set the box on. I'm back here. Take him. Take him now. I have no idea who this is. Good. Leave it that way. You're not there. You're. I'm. You're in. my slut. <laughs> You're cleaning the bedroom. They actually, they come in and pick up your stuff for you and take you both to a new room that's three times the size for the two of you. Oh, God. In one much larger bed. Hey, you're the one that said you're my concubine. Oh, God, help me. 
opened your big mouth on that one. <laughs> Someone's got to take care of his needs. Otherwise, it'd be up to someone in the town to take care of it just to keep things fair and safe. I hear ringing. That's your mind going. Oh, I take it you're wanting a haircut. No, I know. Not right now. Hi, Mom. No one break. I should. I'm not gonna. Maybe when we <laughs> all end it. <laughs> you told Mom. I'll that. check them. And I read it tonight. Is that you? Is that wireless or wireless? It's, you know, regular. Wireless. Tesla didn't invent it. It's a razor. But it's brand new. Right. Yes, it is. I'm going to use it to, tra to shave my scrotum. <laughs> um, I don't know if things you like that too that much. Were you didn't steal them. They gave them to you. <laughs> they can still hear me. They gave them to me, actually. I but I took a dozen. Know. And then Rampage stole them from me. Because oh. she told me to! <laughs> Don't blame Rampage. You didn't know you had cookies. Because she told me to! I am sleepy. Sugar, not good for you. <sighs> yeah. Build on you guys. Starting up again soon. Let me make a phone call real Go quick. If you guys hear any music, it's from No Copyright Sounds. They're on YouTube. No copyright sound. Hey, Corey wants to know how much you charge for highlights. How does 20 sound for you? Perfect. He said perfect. When do you want it done? I'm not sure. Yeah. He's not sure yet. <coughs> Probably next time he gets paid. When's your paydays? Um, I get paid on Gay people. Friday oh God, and two weeks after that. He gets paid every other Friday. Okay. You want some coffee now? Yeah. Go grab it. Well, you have them on Facebook. Okay. Oh. Walk with them. Don't just fall on them. She said let her know when and she'll do it. Okay. She'll even take you to go get the stuff, too. So you have the right stuff. All right. Love you, Mom. Oh, how's Mikey? Oh, on their side of the moon and the ship. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, good. 
Alright, well, we're, we're, I just wanted to call and ask you that and everything. <coughs> okay. And so. Alright, love you. Bye. Is that the one that I went with you to get? No. Which one went that one? I spent all day today in my life not biking me. You never went with me to get a tattoo? I used to do a lot of combat you sports, I was in boxing, person. kickboxing, mm -hmm. um, mixed martial arts before there was an MI. I, mean, I wish I was like a little younger when I started it, because I, I missed the, the, the new stuff. Yeah. The new martial arts stuff they have, they was outlawed for a while when I was available at the right age. Yeah, but I did stuff still with it. <laughs> and I did all that stuff and never got you as much like as I did. Luna. I but working, know. Wall, working at Ernst and some of the other places with the concrete floors. Yeah. That's Walking right. around so, did more damage never. to me. Than uh, all the other crap. You get your highlights. Okay. My mom and stepdad's on your guys' side. No <laughs> sugar for Luna. No sugar. Sugar, bad. <coughs> that very bad. Well, like I need to cut out sugar and caffeine and all that shit. Your mom said, "Come out, come out, wherever you are." We're coming back. We're just waiting for the. Dungeon map, the game master. Yep, we're just waiting. We to could, uh, no. sometime I could start insisting on a more healthy snacks. Well, when I get my food stamps, I'm going to start getting veggies and all that, and instead of bringing junk food. Yeah. Better Allow for a certain amount of space for that, but not much. Like, you know. Your mom even agrees with me. A few cookies, <gasps> but not a whole wrap. Yeah. And then maybe some celery and sticks and stuff like no that. No broccoli around me, please. But I'd like, no, like to say everyone brings some money when we would start buying trays for food. But we can't even get money for gas all the time. So. You want that thrown away? One thing at I a time. Hey, I'm coming back. Try. I know you do. Devin. But we have to admit to where we are financially. It would be nice. Can you throw this away? To, uh, oh, shit. I, beat I, your head? That's I, a bad I, idea. Don't do that. Silly girl. Okay, we're gonna start with Miss America. You make a reason roll. That's just my reason is typical. Alright. Okay. I got it. Okay. There it goes. Twenty. No. No? No. Okay. Uh, they start bringing in stuff and piling it into the room and looking at you. Like, you should put this away to where he wants it. But then also, you get to roll. Reason. 45, Nope, I didn't make it. Okay. They brought you to their rooms. His and her. His and his. And uh, just point you guys to do your jobs, take care of their places. I thought my job was in the kitchen. Well, <laughs> you'll be working most of the time. You're my concubine, shut up. We're helping you adapt, that's all. You've already informed us your job. Okay. You're my concubine. So we're helping you do that. If you have questions, we will be pleased to help you. Okay. And they know your job is to clean their rooms and be their servants as long as... Um, but they'll be working in the kitchen occasionally, too. I need my box. Your box? Candy? My roll. Oh! Got it. Homeopathic medicine. Yeah. Hand it that way. I forgot I had to keep that box. Good thing it fell right there. This is the trash can where I was aiming. Try to throw your stuff away. I am mean. You have to come over here? Yes. No. Okay. Would you like a candy? No. Would I like a candy? 
No. Would everyone like candy? No! I don't have enough. <laughs> I gotta go get more. I know. I don't need one. Just joke with you. There's, there's a couple gummies. You could eat a gummy. How about that? What, are you not going to answer your mom? It's your mom talk. See, that's why you lost your cookies. You weren't paying attention. I will steal your Cookie snack cake? bars again. Snack bars? Snack bars are all right. These are actually healthy. Okay, see? Yeah. I see. Yeah, well, I'll steal them. Get one, one for two. If you guys want one, you guys can have that Ew. one. We have two of them. Why? Uh, Playing. Okay. Now, you two. I'm afraid I might choke on Intuition roll. Me and him? Yep. Yeah, do what? Intuition Next roll. If you're looking. Eight and so is the guard guy. 99. 87, 86. What'd you get? 97? Oh. Nine, oh. 99. 99. Okay. You guys are out there. You think you've got a track on a scent. Should I roll on my... Yeah. Should I roll my tracking? Yes. Now you can. You found a, t a trail. 92. Yes. Tracking it up to some caves. Some ice caves. I'm getting more of this. Okay. Tracking over to the ice caves. Does that look with me? A log. And over towards an area where there's ice and ice falls. You are not gonna <laughs> sleep in my bed. <laughs> well, she failed her role. It's no, no I'm ice. sleeping in, in his bed. <laughs> you can just stay out of my bed. Hey, you see, you weren't a concubine. I don't care. <laughs> it's even though living in my bed. That's my bed. Well, there ain't gonna question because you know <laughs> he is large, and I'm sure it's something that was everyone's thought of first of what to do. All right. Have, to take have a good night, it. Amanda. Then, luckily, it wasn't an issue. He already took care of that. Sleep well, Amanda. We will see you next week, maybe. Hopefully. You'll see her Sunday if you tune into into the live. Okay. If I'm not watching. If you're not watching. You can watch it wherever you want. No, you can't there if they get in trouble with you. Um, you well, are tracking. Okay. And it seems you're hearing a Yeti screaming. You guys head forward. Remember that trap you found? There's one in it. Just try and jump out. But the hole's deep enough, you can't quite make it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. He comes back. Mm -hmm. The guy comes to you. So, I hope he's not injured. Um. Because there are spikes down there, but I your skin could, may be too hard. I could offer to help it up. Well, could you have enough strength to do that? Oh, trust me, I do. Okay. Well, you help um, it make up. a psych roll. <coughs> Are you going to be? Uh, that's true. Right. Not going on in the 99 is red. Okay. You bring him up. As I'm bringing him up, I'm going to have him. Help him up. Kind of the man in the iron mask. No, oh, he'll wait till he gets, you know, up, and then he's gonna spray his arms so that he can't attack. The stuff will melt in a while. He stays. That's what he's turned for. Matter of fact, when they found him, he was stuck in some of the stuff. Is it a special thing? Do you need to add karma? Add karma, Bill! Add karma! <laughs> he added karma. How many people in the pig, though? <laughs> Apparently three! <laughs> hey! Make an intuition check. Mr. Mountain Man. 98. Okay! <laughs> you realize this is the same one you dealt with.
And uh, the Iron Mask guy says, that was easy. We appreciate your help on this. It makes it so much easier. We're going to get him without injuring him. I dealt with him earlier. Oh. Was it positive or negative? negative. We both gave up. Uh, respect, hopefully. Yes. Well, he's their secret creature. I do what I can to help them. Because, you know, I had no identity. I'm glad they're giving me one. Hello. I wonder sometimes about out there. I know who you are. Do you? Yes, I do. Oh. If you come with me to my... Is it a happy thing or a bad thing? If you come with me after we deliver the Yeti... Okay. I will be for sure on who you are. Okay. That would be appreciated. Were we friends? Yeah, in a way. Well, that's good. That, that makes me happy. Because you're a good man. And I'd have to be a good man, too. For you to call me a friend. I've wondered, do you think we're doing the right thing with these yetis? Oh, I know we're not. Then we should let him go. Especially this one. Tell him we couldn't find one. Does that sound like what, we, what I would do? Okay. And he goes over and grabs a, a bottle of stuff and starts spraying it on his hands. And the stuff starts like, like foam and with a gasoline cup. Starts stringing just melting away around his hands. <coughs> um, tell him to go then. And then, uh, the guy that's been with you, the guard guy, he's like, my, no, no, don't listen to him. We must make them happy where we're living, or they'll, I, I will tell them. Fine! Spray him down. <coughs> I'll free it okay, later. <coughs> no. Ask him why I do this. Hold it home. And he turns and, and, and pierces the guy's heart with the sword. The guard. The guy. Drops him. We'll tell him that he killed them. And that's how he escaped. I go up to the Yeti. With my hand out. He looks at it and sniffs it. He grabs it from the top. I put my other hand on it. And I go like this. He grips it on again. <laughs> okay. And I let go. And he walks away. I think you made a friend. Use your tail and cover up these tracks. Um, as he walks away over to the trees, you see he like shoes what seems to be a couple other smaller ones. He was a father or a mother. And uh, make sure that they're safe and shields them as they walk away like he's walking away. It was either a mother or a father. Um, it looks like a father. That's why him and I fought to begin with. He was protecting his young. Uh-huh. Yeah, she can cover for this shit. Yes, you do. 100 <laughs> points. Saving the Sasquatch, or the Yeti. 100 points? Yep. You can let uh, Skinwalker have 20 for not stopping you from doing so. He knew it seemed right. And I'll give, I'll give the Iron Mask guys too. Yeah, because if you would have stopped me, your head would have been squished. I would have broken you like I broke break all my toys. 
So, you guys start heading back. I'm a concubine, so you can't break me. Unless you, like, decide to go like... Or, ooh! Split. I'm really flexible to remember. Um, We're not going to talk about this! You guys are wandering back to the place. Um, with Demo and, you know, the dead guy. He took his coat after he gave it three slashes. That's sort of... Zero, zero, step up. And I ripped it off and kicked the guy in, into the trap. And started kicking snow over it. You forgot one. And... You guys are heading back. When everyone makes an intuition check, everyone makes an intuition check, even the ones inside. 95. 71. I got a red. Hundred! Oh my god! You got a red. Yep. Nope. I rocked. I guess you are sleeping. <laughs> and what'd you get? 71. You 71. forgot one. What? What'd you forget? <laughs> Mom, what about Skinwalker? I got 71. He got 71. He's fine. You and you and you hear an explosion. Aww. We heard an explosion and they get From where? Intuition check. Not All you. Well, you're the one asking the question. You guys... 82. It's from outside. Um, do you want to look more information? Yeah. Intuition check. What'd you get? 82. Okay. 66. 59. You know it's from outside, back in the direction that you guys originally come from. As best as you can okay, guess, because you're not even mm -hmm. sure. You didn't walk up here. Um, you passed out quick. You two That's can right. see... It's from the camp. I'm also sorry. Scott they just Walker. blew. There's smoke and everything coming out of the tunnel. That they um that the whole thing where they started. Apparently there's an explosion in there. Walker, sorry. <laughs> what do you guys do? What are you doing? You two, specifically. You, because you notice, you sleep. <laughs> so we're going to have to keep going to the camp. Or to so the hand to the camp? No, we got to keep going to the city. To the city, okay. You two, just keep heading. Make a uh, strength roll. You're just trudging through snow. Me? Yeah. What are you doing? You're inside. 92. She's I'm sleeping. On the bed. The room. He's trying to clean the room. Kick her off the bed. <laughs> you can tell her after you get back, but you're really bad at it. You're military. You expect you're, you're maybe well, well. You're military. You can at least do like straining stuff away. You put things, stack things away. It's not at all a pretty environment Luckily when you show up. Luckily, I have up. a box on me. <laughs> yeah, because you don't like other people touching it. So um, we assume you like basically took the fabric or the the yeti fur. And tied it on the end and put it on your belt. So you're kind of carrying it around with the Yeti fur around it. The sacred Yeti fur protects. So, um, what do you want to do? You heard the explosion outside. What do you want to do? I walk up and look out the window and see what that that was. Um, make an intuition check. E one. Yellow. Okay. You notice it's coming from the direction of the camp. And you can see from your window um, them coming back. They have a little bridge to cross. The one over, remember there's a bridge between here and there? They're yeah. heading back to it. The bridge I fell off of. And nobody was going to save me until somebody yelled at Luna to do a fucking portal. And she was like, oh, what? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> 
When was that? She, she's not there. Hey, was I here? <laughs> okay. Max. What do you do? We say there's some smoke coming from that direction. Like they're trying to blow a tunnel. Okay, who else like, do we have here? You're with her in your room. Me and Luna. Oh wait, actually room. roll a die ten. Four. Uh, even. Because you're also in charge of his stuff to clean. Because you're a servant. Me and She's in his room. room. She's sleeping on his bed. You're back in your room. <laughs> she went in to clean stuff and lay down while straightening the bed and started taking a nap. It's like thin air. I, I walk you out. You got Luna cooties all over your bed. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm burning. Huh? laughs> I walk out big on Luna's door. Um, something's happening here. You knock on the door to your house, your, your room. It's open. No, I'm being on Luna's door. Oh, Luna. Ryan. Luna's okay. There's no answer. Skinwalker. Skinwalker. She's in his room. Are you in your room? No, he's Where with me. Are? Yeah, they're hunting. He's not in this room. But you know she's room, supposed though. to be cleaning her room, his room too. But she fell asleep on the bed. So you, you, you pound on the door of his room? So we're going to say a couple rounds and you run around finding where the hell she is. Yeah. Her room's empty. She's not in her room. She wasn't in your room. She's pretty much, unless she started something with someone in town or she's looking for pastries, she's probably in his room. Yeah. And it's supposed to be her room to clean. But she didn't help clean your room at all. I never asked her to help me. Well, no, they did. They expected her to. Um. <laughs> well, they're trying to help you guys establish sleeping. a pattern of life that they think you guys may have had on the Why outside. Why are you sleeping? <laughs> Why are you sleeping? You guys you awake? make your strength rolls. You did, right? 94. Okay. 93. Okay, you get to the bridge. Agility rolls for crossing it. Remember? It's a thin little bridge. Woo! Hundred! Huh. I become a bird. <laughs> Light is a feather. Twenty? Light is a feather. Light is a feather. Mm -hmm. Um, so the skidwalker went off. God turns to a bird. Yeah, you gotta come into a bird. Here to roll. He has to come into a bird? That is just... <laughs> 83. <laughs> Not if he's in bird form. 83. 83. Okay. Now what's sick is he could look like Miss America. Then you're not sure where um, you were going with it. Why would that be sick? I'm beautiful. Yeah, but it would really kind of, if he's sitting on you, and then you he you could be Hey, pretty boy, what's your name? <laughs> you want to get later? A whole weirdness to the relationship between you guys is ever... <laughs> It'd be two of you. It's His like mother impregnated a lady. It's like all of a sudden Rampage gets closer to Skinwalker. Them some meaty little thighs. I'd like to spread them later. <laughs> okay, you As you guys are crossing, well, that's why he jumped and <laughs> fell off the damn bridge. You're crossing the bridge, and all light as a feather. You grab his thighs, and he's like, Whoa! and he goes falling off the bridge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but what you do see are some Nazis starting to spill out of the Brit, the, the exploded hole. They're starting to search the, uh, the the camp down below. Um, right after you guys cross the bridge, you, you know feel the weird pop of your ears and the heat change. So, you're now inside the bubble. And the guy says, um, the guy in the iron mask looks at you and says, I'm sad to say, uh, your revelations to me will possibly have to wait. No, they don't have to wait. Well, follow me to my room. Okay, fine. Okay. So he goes head that way in a hurry. He's, he's concerned about these people coming from below. And he gets to his room and opens a wooden box and pulls out a bunch of dynamite. Says the only way to protect the people is we need to blow the bridge. Let's do it. Okay. He hands you some dynamite. He grabs a couple. 
You can also set it on fire. Yep. I'm I'm <coughs> the phoenix right now. No, you were the tiger, not the phoenix. You're the tiger. Oh, now no, it's <coughs> falling. You had to change into what? <coughs> phoenix and phoenix. Okay. No, you said just a bird. You didn't say yeah. the phoenix. Well, well he now changed from that bird, that songbird. Don't. Don't make me have to pluck your feathers. <laughs> <laughs> and turns into a phoenix and flies out of the hole. Head back to you guys. Y you know those things I was saying to Miss America? They were actually meant for you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he hands you a couple wraps of dynamite. Five pieces of fur. And a lighter. A lighter. The lighter also has the iron cross on it. It is a and he hands you some, and hands you the, uh, the lighter and, and the dynamite. He grabs some. What are you doing, Skinwalker? You've been I'm, following, or? I'm following. Or you check with the other people. We don't need the lighter. Well, that is freezing. We set them up, you burn them down. Awesome. Um, can you make a promise before we do this? What? So I cannot guarantee you we'll, we'll both survive this. We're running around with explosives, and they're coming with with weapons of some sort, I guess. Oh, you'll survive this. Um, but in case I don't, The last thing I remember, and this may fit to what you think, if not, let me know, because maybe I'm wrong, but I took a child I found to a nun that just stepped out of the sky, just stepped out from the moon and landed. If, if that child comes back looking for me, let him know I, you know, I tried to do what I could. Let's go. And he starts running towards the Red bridge. Skull's daughter has his son. And you guys are heading towards the bridge. I'll take care of the dynamite. You stay right here. I, I, I can't let you... I will take care of the dynamite. You stay right here. How are you going to make him stay? How are you going to express your point of view? Or are you just going to like put your hand on his chest and put him down? Exactly. Okay, make a fighting check. Roll. Oh, excuse me. All right. 88. Yeah. Okay. It's because he's a carbonated. 88. Um... You sit him down. He seems to be quite. You try to grab your thumb, your meaty, meaty thumb. I wouldn't. Okay, you hear the noise of mortar fire. When you look up, um, start to see people starting to panic and run. Let's go. Okay. Well, what am I to do to help? Just sit. Don't move. But I am a fine warrior. Fine, come with me. I'm your friend. Fine, come with me. Okay. That's all you want. You want to follow you. Okay. <laughs> um, we're heading straight to the bridge. People are starting to like must, fire at it, and fire uh, guns. Uh, we're at the bridge, right? Uh, you're heading to the bridge. I just want to say, if you guys, anyone that wants to continue to head for the bridge, will come under attack by people firing guns in rows. Their military unit. Just a bird. They're for your they don't care. If you no, if you show as a defense, if you're just flying around, but all right, what kind of bird? As a phoenix, you don't look normal. Eat it. You, can have it you, you know what? I'm just gonna light the dynamite and start chucking it at the bridge. Do you want to get close enough to make it easy? 
Or do you want to stand no, back and I'm make a check Actually, no, I'm just going to charge at the bridge at the with bridge? the dynamite, set it right in the middle, have him shoot down at it. Okay, so you're flying around what, in your phoenix form? Yep. Okay, um, make a psych roll for your phoenix form. Do what? Psych. Psych. I want to see if you're trying to look how nonchalant. 83. You're doing all right. They're not paying attention yet. It's a fancy, um, almost, they look, he almost looks like a, uh, oh, uh, fe uh, what's the bird with the big plume? Peacock. Peacock, yeah. He looks similar to that. So they're not trying to shoot me yet. Well, you just think that there's some weird city over there. So, you know. Some of them seem to be carrying heavy equipment. So, and some are running forward, and they are bringing a jeep with a bridge system on it to drop off. One of the high-tech devices those Nazis were creating. Rolls forward and drops the bridge and drives over and it's got three sections on it. And he's like, um, which bridge do you want? Do you, want? you blow up the wooden bridge, I'll take care of this one. Okay. He Roll takes some dynamite over there. So it's running over there. Um, you help him, on, I'll take care of this fucking bridge. Agility check for everyone that wants to dodge bullets. I ain't dodging shit. I'm just going to lift that bridge straight up and... Chuck it down. Take 20 points damage. I don't care. Take 20 points damage, that's all. Fine. I know, you can take it. Fine. Four rounds later, you're healed. What'd you this roll? This pen sucks. 67. Take a different one. Do you see the one over there? What? Yeah, the blue one does. 67? Yep. You're all right. No, um, I'm back here. I need to roll. No one paid attention to you. I need to do a strength roll. To lift the, that bridge up. The one that they're rolling out? Worse. So just basically as they land it, you just lift it and try to dump it? Mm-hmm. Okay. That would be a good one. 98. Okay. Uh, yeah. So they drop it, you grab it. It almost lands on your toes. Bastards. That's what you did before you grabbed it and started lifting it. The, the uh, jeep's starting to push forward to try to drop the last one, but you're like lifting it up off the ground. And you two are missed, eleven and not five. But Zemo took a oh, Zemo. Ha ha! Took a shot. And so he, he pulls out the lighter. Fire on the fucking dynamite. You do it? Right. Yell at him to get out of there. Or I yell at him to get out of yeah, there. Yeah, he can't yell. He's a phoenix. Okay. So he won't get, get back. So I'm get out of the way. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to try to light it up. Uh, 94. Ooh. Boom. Big explosion. He's dragging it. He, he, he like gets knocked going? off. It takes him long to get off because he looks like he's been shot. He's got a little bit. And he gets, he gets shot off the bridge, but lands on the ground, so he's not falling. I, are both bridges gone? Yes. I grab them and start running. The, the what? You'll grab him? Actually, and turn he, to a rhino. He looks at you through his iron mask and says... In my room, under the bed, are two grenades. They will come, and we will need to destroy the gem. For with it, they could also be coming for it. Now, without it, these people could be allowed to die. Who is that? Ah, uh, you're on the hallway. We'll let you catch up to everyone. Everyone can kind of catch up as you're getting ready to, you know, face whatever's now going to come Now I feel bad next. for doing this. Why? So 
So you go get the grenades? And I give them to him. Okay. What do you want him to do? Well, for him to do. Hold down to these if the Nazis come in. Actually, it looks like he's right. They're coming? They're very intent on it. They're trying to find ways to fix the bridge. They're just asses. You have to stand there and keep doing it because they have more. They can take the tanks and maybe get over the uh, the uh, opening. So he is very possibly right, Fuck. and you don't want the Nazis getting the stone and the powers that come with it. I'm gonna hand him over to the fucking panhead. Then I'm gonna go kill these fucking Nazis. If I die, I don't give a shit. Okay. So we go play with the uh, Q with him. Okay. Make a psych roll. Ninety-nine. What is that? He says, looking at you. It's a beacon for someone who's been looking for you. Someone who knows who you are. Okay. Is that what you wanted me to see? You wanted to know who you were. I'm sorry to say this is the only way you can find out who you actually are. I'm not going to like this, am I? Unfortunately, not one day. So I waited. And he goes over the bed and pulls out of the uh, pillow. photo and hands it to you. For some reason, when I saw the sister, I gave her this photo. It might help you in finding it. And it's a photo you looked at briefly before, but it's a postcard of a place in Madripoor. A cat, like a, a a bar and it says in the back we have the book show up as soon as possible now do you leave the room or let it happen on its own or yeah cause I gotta go deal with these fuckwads okay You know the whole thing happens. Lights are appearing. The whole, you know, through the corners of the walls. The whole place seems to almost take apart or something. There's a weird shaking, drop in the temperature, and he appears. You're human, girl. You have to pick the box. What can I walk back in? Just watch what he's doing. Uh, he's trapping him with hooks. Looking at the mask. He was so this is all we have left of him? And this is all, this is what I found. He gave his son to a nun that came from the sky. Well then we'll hold him for now. Because he's not the man he was, intent more calls us, and he's lost his intent. But it is who you were looking for. I do feel that, but he's a hollow shell. But you did as you promised so far, and you said you think we know where the child is? Yes. It's interesting, the work on this mask. Looks at it for a while. Starts feeling around the seams. Then starts checking out the arms. And starts putting more pins in him. The chains and the hooks come from all directions. And he's like, this was self-inflicted. 
He did it to himself. <coughs> he may be of value yet. We'll see what the Labyrinth thinks. But I think we're good. We used Guardians a while, as a while, but only you will be able to carry its burden. And if it goes otherwise, you become a victim. I see no problem with that. I would see that you would understand it more than most. We would probably just have to put you back in the bath. Well, thank you. No, it kind of waves you away. Now I have to go deal with Nazis. After I get my powers back. Okay. We'll be here when you get back. And, uh... You leave. Okay. You go deal with Nazis. So you're over there. Do I have my strength back? Um. Am I healing? As you step outside, oh, yes. Oh, Please and thank you. Yes. Please and thank you. You're doing fine after a while. You start feeling the strength. So, one man army. Hm. Let's do this. You're Omega? I guess. Okay, what are you doing? You want to come help? Yep. What would you help? Fire from above! No T Rex, no Rhino, no cat. Right now, you, there's a bridge. You could you, you wait and fight on the bridge, too, though. I'm going to start bashing heads. Okay. You see the old man coming out with a sword and waits for a chance to attack. No. He says, my people may wish death, but I <coughs> do not. If they come in here, they will not die. No. If you go out there, you will die. No. I've learned many uses for the gem. It will protect me as I leave. It knows I would never leave it. Wait, you could do your sleepy magic crap on them like you did me. And you have more servants. Am I still in the hallway? Yeah, you're following them. They're heading out to deal with the trouble. Yeah. And you're squishy. We can't... He says, I can leave for 15 minutes. And so as long as we keep down to that. Squishy. If you gotta leave during this fight, you gotta leave. Where's... Our ally. His master found him. Why is he not helping us? His master found him and will uh. not let him go. Just related to that box you were carrying. Yes. But it still should not be able to kill within no. the city. No. They're mm. they're not he's not going to kill them. Well then. Let's go protect the people. You go forward, you go flying over as a phoenix, stopping him from getting too close. Yep. Both you guys make dex rolls. Basically, to try not Agility, to endurance. Agility, sorry. Agility. 97, red. Four. Excuse me. Hot four? Mm -hmm. You failed. Yep. 
You take 11 points damage. She got shot once. Luckily, there's only that much. I rode on myself. Okay. Um, I need four. Um, psych roll for everyone that's going out 91. to fight the Nazis. Are you going? Eighty-nine. Everyone roll. It's basically just a mass fight. Thirty-six. I take it. <clears throat> Mm. Where did that dice go? I have no idea. Find a new one. I can get you a new one if you want. No, it's under the table somewhere. Oh. I think it's by Lynette's bag. Hold on. She Thank doesn't you. have a bag. I don't have my fuck way. Hey Lisa, what'd you get? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going on. You can re go ahead and re-roll it. Seventy-six. Green. Okay, everyone roll a one die ten. Three. Ten. Five. Eight. You roll the lowest one. Roll a die ten. Seven. Um, as you're heading to help everyone, uh, one of the mortars, because they're starting to fire them over the uh, into the city, strikes at Alcodec, an aqueduct. The street is flooded with 12 Don't inches of water up. suddenly. What do you do, if anything? I'm going to try to plug up the hole and... Try to protect the aqueduct? Yeah. Make a roll with it. You're going to use your dark force, I take it? Yep. Roll. 28. Didn't make it. No, so you're covered in water. She oh, you think it's 75 degrees outside? She the bath. People are running, sliding on the ground. Do you want to like start trying to help people and stuff, or I'm gonna try them? To start helping people. Okay, make a psych roll. Six. Seriously, my dads are hating me today. I had twenty-eight. Okay. Oh, the rest of you guys are out there fighting, causing trouble, beating up Nazis, and. You all hit a psych roll. Higher. Good. 71. Okay. Ooh, red. For him. Okay. You Ooh, guys Lord. definitely feel, because you've been out of the, the dome for a while, a, um, a pulling. Like, it's trying to call you back. But it seems to be getting a little weaker. As you're out, like you just like broke free of it for a while. But it wants you back. I'm trying to fly all. I turned to the old man and told him to go back. Okay, well, he's actually already went back. Matter of fact, there's no one fighting them except for you guys. Others had to be drawn back because they were getting sick. Most of them ain't coming. They can't even get close enough to the wall without getting sick. They don't even want to try. Although they wouldn't mind dying, but they can't leave. So they can't yes. die from it. 
You saw people being shot yep. by guns, shot in the head. And they like go crawling off towards the healing areas, but they're not dead, but they feel the pain. Um, you get uh, met by the old men who met you guys at the beginning with the beard. But help me get these people to safety. I will. You need to get with yours. He points the direction where they are. Quick! Run to your death! Is it pretty much what he says. Yes. I'd rather help the people. Nope. Do what he says. <laughs> He pulls his sword out like he's like you need to go. All right, all right. Okay. You head off. Yeah. Are you so get we there? just get kicked out. I guess so. By the time you get out there, the village starts to dis the city starts to disappear. But also, as you guys are shooting or, de or beating people up, you see a helicopter coming in with English um, Why were symbols we on it. Out? But my box is in there. My helmet is in there. You'll find the stuff on the bridge. Fuck you. They need to take the place away so it couldn't become. And, but, mm, it says actually everyone gets 250 karma. Um, it's hard to say if it was good or bad, but you left the city intact but did not give it over to the Nazis. You didn't go for the plan of destroying the crystal, which would end the cities and the people's lives. But you did turn over Zemo. So that was worth a hundred. So no hundred. And all your stuff is there. Everyone's stuff is there. They you want to punch you guys, but um it wasn't gonna work. He used his ability to see if you just and saw that his area, he actually is kind of questionable if he's good or bad. Because he likes people being under his power here. But he also is a victim of the gem. But it exists still. This city was not destroyed as written as the plan. You guys let it live. Which is actually all right. Because it's kind of like Genosha. Kind of. Or it's kind of like there's another actual city you guys will be looking for later, which is the same one that, uh, the ancient one that, um, like Doctor Strange went to. Yeah. Kind of like that. And you guys didn't destroy the, uh, didn't try to destroy the thing, which is a maze revolution. Which is fine. Okay. And he's gone. And you guys are taken, are picked up by Peggy and everyone. And Alabama. And no, you are not my concubine. Any strange conversation to land here with. Do you have to tell everyone this? I'm not even. You're not either one. Anyone's concubine. Everyone, let's go. We're not sure where yet. I think I know. You show them the thing? Yep. Interesting. Well, um, then that's where we'll go. We're going to go to Madripoor. At the Princess Bar. It's mm -hmm. kind of like a he was <laughs> going to Casablanca. <laughs> How'd you know I was just thinking about my dad? I know you. 
Um, Zemo gave you the folder. Not for the reason he thought. I feel bad that I had to lie to him, but you know what? On the other side, he's my enemy. He's a Nazi. Um, oh. The box can be put into the other box with the other items. Or uh, the other item. No! It's to lock it away safely nope. from everyone. Can't. I have to hold on to it. If anybody touches it, they will get shocked. Sam seems quite insistent, but the guy that you guys are working for or with from the underground, he there and says, um, I say leave it with him. He seems to have unfinished work with it. Yes, I do. Yes, then we cannot stand in the way. There's He's one probably got a debt tied to it, which comes with items of this power. There's one more person I have to find. Ah. And we are going to where this person should be. Well, when it's done, I can assure you we'll do so. But if it does get heavy for you, this box will keep it from affecting anyone. It's where the book, book will go. When what, we're done. Once it's done, we can put it in there. Put it in the box. No, that's fine. Uh, we there's, we have no right to stand in the way of what it and whatever demons you mean to deal with to get. But there. if I fail this mission, I will be gone. Uh, did you find Zemo? Yes, I did. Ah, oh, interesting. The box wanted him. Oh, I'm glad I will never, or hopefully never be in that situation. Or I should say the servants of the box wanted him. Okay. The Principality of Majapur is an island in Southeast Asia, located in the southern portion of the Strait of Malacca, southwest of Singapore. Its capital, the single largest city in Majapur, which is divided between the wealthy area known as High Town <sighs> and the impoverished crime ridden Low Town. These two areas represent the extreme social inequities in Majapur. It is often <laughs> described as the very place for the very rich and the very poor. There is truly little <laughs> in between. Majapur is once a haven for pirates, and tradition has it somewhat continued today with its rampant lawlessness. To add insult to injury, the Principality does not allow other nations to extradite criminals, so it's become a hotbed of criminal activity and a haven for international criminals hiding from the law. Despite all this, or because of it, Majapur is one of the business capitals of the Pacific Rim. These days, Lowtown is still the ultimate abyss of vice and degradation where nothing is sacred, no act too profane. In a lot of ways, it's the same today as it was a thousand years ago, as far removed from modern civilization and sensibilities of a body can get. There's no rules here. Anything goes, provided you can pay the price. Uh, basically, you guys are going here. Your contacts are informant is the owner of the and operator of the Princess Bar in Lowtown by the name of Seraph. The Princess Bar serves as an oasis of elegance and style. A direct contrast to its surroundings, surrounded by Lowtown's dangerous reputation, tourists avoid the Princess Bar often after dark. At night, the Princess Bar becomes a gathering place for local residents for both High Town and Low Town, as well as a place for the rich and the denizens of the underworld to do business. The Prince's Bar is also a restaurant with a cabaret entertainment. Seraph is a diminutive operative working with the British MI6. She's about three and a half feet tall, providing information on Axe's activity in the region. Despite her appearance, she is a force to be reckoned with. She is a woman who commands respect from all parties, who enter her establishment, so please be on your best behavior. This is the situation we'll be going into. This is going to be interesting. So, identities, how you wish to go, how you wish to go about this. 
Peggy is asking. So you make sure you guys are basically. It's possible that book is here. I'm just going as me. You okay. The rest of you. I'm putting my stain with Luna. Who's gonna go in? Fred Myers. <laughs> Are you gonna be Fred Meyer? <laughs> or Fred's appliance? <laughs> That's his secret Fred. identity for Fred's Fred Meyer. Fred appliance. He has a different coat. That's the difference. <laughs> we accomplished something. We made him young. <laughs> I've been running all night. No, you haven't. Okay, once the characters, which is you guys, make landfall in the city of Magipur at the docks, Sam and Peggy will arrange somewhere for them to stay in Hightown and suggest the heroes make their way into Lowtown to the club. You guys will be given a decent place to stay, not in Lowtown. In a safe house we have there. Cool. Um, from here, and he'll like show you on a map, you will go down into Lowtown. Um, and arrive at the Princess Bar. If you have any weapons, they will be collecting them at the door by two burly bouncers. If you're carrying any. Refusal to be met, well, we'll find out. They uh, could cause a problem. So, you guys show up. Anyone carrying weapons? Nope. Now in the box is in my cargo pocket. Okay. And the staff is back in your room? Lock the wood. Okay. No! That stuff shrinks down. Yes, it does. It's in my pocket. It's telescopic. It's in my pocket. Well, it's about three feet, or about this long, but yeah. It's my pant leg! Yeah. It could possibly fit in that uh, cargo pocket in the front. You know what I mean? No, no. It's my dick. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> Don't use the wrong one for telescoping. <laughs> oh! That's, that's why I wanted you so bad. <laughs> well, do you guys, any of you, refuse to be searched? You know, I like them more. They can try to search me. <laughs> okay. They'll get shocked by the box. Um. I can't leave the box. Make a psych roll. All of us? No. Me. Just the one carrying the box. 94. Hi, baby! Hey. It stays calm enough for you to get through that, and they just say it's a strange looking puzzle box. They don't see a reason to think otherwise. Hi, Mama. Okay, as you look around, you'll see marble columns, luscious gold and red fabrics hanging from the walls, the ceilings, multi tiered stair caps, cases and separate dining and meeting areas around a central circular stage. There's a band playing swing music in the center of the club, okay. surrounded by a beautiful crystal clear blue pool of water. You guys are inside. Um, people seem more intent on what they're doing than what you guys, so no one's really, you know, somebody like, oh man, that guy's big. But no one's this one. Well, there's a couple that look weird in here, anyways. Like having meetings with other people. So you guys are not really standing out. Everyone, make an intuition check. Ninety-one. Excuse me. So mine was red. Okay. I got not six. Roll those two. This place has. A lot of waitresses. Eighty-nine. And what uh, skill you want to get? Okay, you three realize they're not waitresses. They're call girls. This place is like swamped with them. Hookers! She thinks they're just waitresses. There's a lot of waitresses here. No, they're not. I like how you immediately look at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I started saying it, I was looking that way, 
<laughs> they don't even... I was like, Quick scan around the place will we'll reveal mostly men in fine dining clothes, white jackets, and black ties, or full black tuxedos. The women are in the finest elegance, but a reasonably intuition you see there lays the night. Those people are reasonable. You didn't notice it. You're like, I don't look for prostitutes. I'm looking for Sister Death. Or After a while, a diminutive woman with short cropped blonde hair that stands approximately three foot three inches approaches the heroes party and welcomes them to the club. And she puts out her hand. So no, you're sitting. I am. Are you guys sitting down? Yes. Okay. So, well, if you guys can follow me to an adjoining room away from prying eyes, um, we'll be able to talk about this better. I stand up and walk over to where I'm... You guys follow her? Yep. Yep. Pick her up and carry her in the, into the other room. Let go of me, you heathen! <laughs> um, she you would prefer your you not carry her. It's unnecessary. If you walk too fast, that is your issue. So she doesn't seem to like the idea of you carrying Six her. Six of their tiny little steps is like one of mine. I like, know. You will never get there in time. <laughs> Um, takes you to a private room out looking or overlooking the club upstairs and asks them how can I be in serv of service looking for a book um, what book? Uh, which one the Lutheran, I was informed you were going to be looking I was just seeing how I could possibly help you do you have any information on this book I have this card, this postcard. You look at it? Yep. Actually, it is more of a photo. Devin, there's one the Necronomicon. Um, yes. We're looking for the Necronomicon. Oh. Um. What's the Necronomicon? That was, um, she goes over and locks the door. That was picked up in my club a few days ago. By who? Satakata Matsu, a Japanese spy that frequents my club. Where would he be? Um, they have I know what's a tower in town. Um, he's a member, of one of the main members of a group known as The Hand. We're going to have to retrieve that book from him. And we have a tower, there's a tower they have that they live in. But going up would be unnecessary. That's where the business is. You'll probably want to go down. And that's where they will, they should have it. I have another question. Yes. Have you seen a kid in here? Looking for somebody. Bring you to the health department? I'm looking for this kid. He's looking for Zemo. Would be coming in with a nerd. Like, like an infant? A young boy. Okay, well, a, a young one, yeah. Barely can walk, if at all. More of a toddler. Um, Show up with one of them Catholic ladies. Yes. Well, she was there for the handoff. Who had But him? left with, with the gentleman from the hand. Yeah, that's the book right there, the Necro Necronomicon. She looks at it. And uh, Matsu and her left with it. Who has the child? Um, she was carrying it as if it was hers. It's not hers. Come here, Chucky butt. Come here, drunk star. Um, well, actually, it was a quartet that, you know, a new to Magipore. I've never seen them before. There was a large bearded man with an attractive brown-haired female, both of European descent. 
There were two other males, a man who appeared to be of Middle Eastern heritage, and another man who kept his features hidden with a wide-brimmed hat. Devin. Yeah. This is actually the bar. Hi, Gator. Where are we at, go? Um, you'd be more towards the top of one of the rails looking down on it. Come here, Kitty. You'd be more up here than anyone else. Hi. Damn it. Girl. What? You want to pet the kitty kitty? No. Yeah, everyone wants to pet the kitty kitty. You want to go see where mommy went? Okay. Okay. Um, oh, you guys are sitting there watching. And I will, once you come, once, once Rampage comes back, I'll fill you in on the hand. What are you guys doing here? Just sitting and waiting, or are you guys hanging around? Mixing with the group? Gonna have a drink. Okay. No problem. How about you other two? I walk. You're not old enough to drink. I walk over to the bar and I have a uh, Long Island. Okay. Have a drink. You have a drink. Yeah. Down at the bar. You guys up top. And then I walk back up to talk to see what's going on up there. There's no stairs. I know there's stairs right there, but there's no stairs right there, though. What's one of those kind that you can go like? Where's the restroom at? I walk over here to the restroom and use it for a minute and then I go, 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 go. So roll a die six or die ten. Anyone wandering around, roll a die ten. Four. Roll one. What? I said roll one. Okay. One. Sixty-nine. <laughs> Eighty-four. Eighty-eight. Ninety-two. One million three hundred forty-seven. How much for her? Says a guy that comes up. She's mine, not for no, sale. Sorry. You want her son? Okay. One billion four hundred and fifty-two. She will tell you, the hand is an order supposedly of mystical ninjas who are heavily involved in organized crime and mercenary activity in the area, most often centered around assassination plots. The hand can can covets power above all other objectives. They are primarily based in Japan, but they are heavily re represented in great numbers right here in Madripoor. The sect was founded in the 16th century by a secret society of Japanese nationalist samurai who were soon co-opted by the Snake Root, an ancient ninja clan who serves a primordial demon known as the Beast of the Hand. Members of the Hand are rumored to be practitioners of powerful occult magic. There have been tales that they can bring their victims back to life as servants of the hand. Not to self. Not a mission for me. I am aware, like I said, of an ancient temple known as the Temple of Light. I can't do I can't go up there. You can walk to it. God. Magic. We have an hour. Well, it's only 10, 30. It's 10, 20. Yes, uh -huh. yes. I can kill you in that much time. Is there a problem? No. Unless you guys want Rampage to die. Nope. Because no. he doesn't have his healing or his strength. 
He's just a human them. running around with a bunch of mutants. We do not need them. With an evil Die. box. Well, that's only if they have magical attacks. We do not need them. Um, Devin, I'm not stupid. The hand always has magical attacks. <laughs> <laughs> not all of them. Most are just... No, but where, where one that doesn't have a magical attack is, another one has one. <laughs> no, I ain't doing it. <laughs> you have. Rampage just showed his redneck side. I ain't doing it. Jay. Ka-ching. Ka-ching. <laughs> so, what's your guys' plans? I'm going to go back to my room. But I gotta go find. No, I gotta go find that fucking group. Cause the boy. Oh, they went to this temple. Fuck. They were part of the crew that came and picked up the book and went off with it. If anybody finds a child, do not kill said child bring them straight to me all right i'll be outdone by children most of the time so no danger to this child i find one hair missing off of his head you will be broken like all my past toys okay that's not nice to say Okay. Rampage <laughs> has a very so, mean streak. I don't want to fucking die or be turned into a Cenobite. What happened? Okay. What do you run? He got ran over by his truck. Who right. is going to? Me. Not necessarily answering. Who's going to the Temple of Light? Me. 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 You three? And you sit and wait. To see I'll sit across the road hitting. <coughs> so they can come and get you when they fail? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to, but I'm going to try real hard. <coughs> no, that way if I see Luna or someone come Flying running out. out I go, bah, 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 bah. You hey, you left an in. egg. He just stands out by the door and throws you guys back in. That's yep, what exactly. Get back in there. No, no, that just call, my dick. Just call me the yo-yo master. Unless she does magic on you. <coughs> then she would be broken like a toy. <coughs> oh, she can jump into a, a one and just, just to get away from you. Well... I may be farm. big, I may be dumb, but I could still, I have cast <coughs> like Those three of you. How do you wish to approach this large square building? It looks kind of like a temple, a regular temple. You know, with the styles, with the roofs on that. I hope she's not getting up behind that couch. No, she's sitting there on the couch. Guido, what you doing? Hi. Not yet. Later. But we will. He's the strongest. She has magic. I don't have that much magic, so I'm following him. Okay. So what are you doing? You gonna walk in? Or? I come in. I came in like a wrecking ball. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he goes in there. And goes. My friend across the street said you're Winnie. You're Weenies. Master! <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm gonna see if I can sneak inside. Okay. You come up to a large glass door that opens up into the building. Okay. On the side. It doesn't seem to be uh, <coughs> stealth assistable because it's glass around. <laughs> So you get to the door. You carefully open it without making noise. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then 
Go on inside. Yes. Make a dex roll. 56. Oh, that gun in the room finally... Everyone that's entering the room, make a dex roll. Finally kicking in. Agility or endurance? You're not going in, are you? No, but I need to find out for Corey. Agility. Okay. Which... Ooh. No, you're not going to make it. Where did you get? Up one. 39. Okay. Just barely, though. That's all right. Yeah, As you guys enter the room, the lobby. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, you make it. Doesn't matter, as long as one didn't. He made it. Okay. You didn't set off the pressure plates on the floor. I got all one. But you did. So, entering the room are six hand ninjas. Ninjas appear in the room. Wearing like blood red colored robes. Told you there's magic in there. We shot for across the street. We're really helpful. <laughs> um, let's do uh, speed checks. 81. Um, Endurance check? No, die 20 plus oh. an initiative, sorry. So you initiative. have a plus one initiative. So we have missed. So, no, 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 not those two, just that one. Um, uh, skin. And Lula. 19. Corey got a 19. 19 for Miss Skinwalker. Okay. You know, if I get that job at group, it's really fun. And then Luna. Oh, yeah. 13. He moved with me. Okay, mm -hmm. we have a number one. Out of all of you, we have a number one. Me. Number one. one and Mom's going to try to get a job at too. Shit. I will uh, come home and get a job at all. Okay. Three or four. Um, <laughs> first to go. After the ninjas have filled into the room, they just kind of like appear out of the walls. Which two people who would you want to come out? Hey, I'm in Corey. Boys. It's your turn. What do you want to do? Um, <coughs> you could do gravity manipulation. <coughs> uh, what you can do with gravity manipulation are the listed power stunts. Your ability to increase or decrease gravity within a 12 foot radius. Four. No, it says PR ability Which to increase or decrease. Uh, it's poor. poor okay. Ability. So that's uh, uh, you have your flight, your hyper endurance, your hyper strength, x ray vision. Yep. I'm going to use x ray vision. I'm gonna through the walls. But there's ninjas around you. Um, you can do it. Do you want to take care of the ninjas or do you want to see if you could find where the book's at and... I want to look for the book. Alright, so... Roll X -ray. on an excellent. How many dice do you have in your hand? Just two? Six. Right, yeah, roll those two. And a half. Twenty-four. No. You Kay. needed a thirty-six to a forty. Okay. But next time... You just since, hit, you right now can't see the book anymore. But next time, since that is a... Excellent. You can use up to 20 karma. So uh, before you roll, if you want to do that again, say I want to add yes, six up ninjas to 20 silently karma standing there, so if you want to add pulling weapons, on it, size, okay. katana, shurikens, quarter staffs, and crossbows. It will, inc it will yeah, increase the number. Let's see if we change number. into a grizzly bear. Oh, okay. see, like, Probably one of each and then two of swords. I'm going to add... Oh, yeah. uh, you change to a grizzly bear, make a roll. Let's see, my max stat is... 50. What's your control? 75. Uh, we're changing. So yeah. Incredible. Just roll. What's roll? 50. You're good. Be you change to a grizzly bear. Mm -hmm. Next is Luna. I'm going to try to make a portal and send them as far off as I can. You're going to try to send some that. away? Yeah. Um, as many as I can. Well... No, wait. 
have amazing. So, so, so it'd be 24. Yeah. But, oh <laughs> um, what's your range? Amazing. And if, if you want two of them, you you know, be, it, it takes 40. two column shift down on your chance of success for every additional one you're carrying. So how many you See, want? That would have been There's six of them here. I'll take two of them. Two? Okay. Roll. We need to roll 36. Oh, wow. I'm going to add karma. Do that next. Okay. okay. What can I add? Fifty. But you don't want to. I'm gonna add You don't want to use up all okay. your karma on just one stat or on yeah. one stunt that you're doing. Yeah. Hundred and fifty. Yeah. Uh, so I'm putting on the roof so they go like slap. Yeah. Um, because like, you broke a hundred, I'll give you an extra one. So you got three of them. Three of them. Like are sucked out of the room. You're not sure where they are. All right, sure is there a turn there. here? Um. You make an intuition check. Actually, you do a speed check. Let's add you to the list just in case. 24. Okay. Well, what because you can so quick. Um, you will see ninjas appear above the building. Out of little black holes. I go dropping. Fucking magic using the <laughs> Before they hit the ground though, they turn to dust and disappear. Some that do hit the ground, then turn to dust and just leave the layer of ash. No bodies. Okay. Um Well I guess when rampages the way, magic could be used. So I will put one on each of you. Then it will be your turn. Uh, fighting excellent. Right? Yes. Uh, three. That sucked. Um, so I need to roll a 41. Odd, odd. Uh, you need a roll versus kill. So, okay, uh, roll, what's your endurance? Or right. no, your um, versus right. kill. So either way he needs to get endurance. red. The endurance roll. Endurance. Your no. endurance is good. 27. 27. No. Is that a white? 27 on a good that is white. Okay. What's your endurance? His endurance is good. Okay. Oh, wait, no. He ranked that up. So it's an excellent now. Okay. Well, good thing. Because he just got skewered. Drops unconscious. He's bleeding all over the oh place. God. What's his endurance? So no one's really good. Or excellent. excellent. Now it's only good. So you're back down to good. Well, this is only temporary. As long as he lives. He's going to lose a, a I can try running in and grabbing him. You could possibly in your turn. I have one left to go. I got to attack her. 92. I hit, you need an endurance roll. You're using killing combat. Your endurance is good. Oh, gosh. Roll. Sixty-two. She's all right. You take five points damage. Take five points damage. Or somebody could portal him to me. Um, first of all, you don't even know what's happening yet. Well, no, I said the place has a big glass opening. So you can, you're standing across okay, the street. Okay, I'm just going to run and grab him. Okay. Making agility, or yeah, agility. Make sure I have the right aim. My agility get, is spear. incredible. No, you just got skewed 97. by a sword through you. Just right to your heart. 97. Okay. Um, so you're, you're running in there. Um, so, it is, you're going in to get him. 
It's Miss America's turn. Yep, Miss America. All right. So do you want to do the X-ray vision again? Yeah. Do you want to add the twenty? Yes. Roll. All right. He wants to add twenty to his X-ray vision. Okay. So that is excellent. All right. Go ahead and roll. Nope. Okay. So that means I lost. Skinwalker doesn't get to go. You lost twenty mm -hmm. points. Cause I'm maxed out. <coughs> look how much karma you made. You've made just recently. Two hundred and fifty. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, Luna. I'm gonna try my trick with the so pearls again. Over, and I'm adding another just fifteen. Negative. Okay. Twenty. What the other three? Yep. Roll. 32 plus 32 will be 82. 82, amazing. That's a yellow. Yes. Um, cat sends off two of them. There's one left. Um, I will choose. One, two, three, four. Three. You're not there. You're laying there. It's just stab you again. So it'd be what a pass. It'd be between yeah. us three. Should be wrong. Ah. Where's my dice? I just need dice six. It's easier. Okay. Miss America. Eighty-four. Okay. We will take. 11 points damage. Take down that down to 60. I should just do that. Okay. Next is Rampage. You grab him and get out and strike him. 70. Okay. Um, his endurance is now typical. He's bleeding out, man. Miss America. There's one guy standing there trying to attack you. You could easily stop his bleeding. Any player can make a, uh, I think it's an, a um, reason roll to to wrap his band to, but do you want to move him or do you want to fix him? I'm going to fix him. Okay. Hunter! Okay. You will not lose, lose uh, Collins Runner. You're at typical for now. Okay. Do you want to do the extra revision again? Yes. Roll. Do you want to do 20? Yes. All right. Roll. roll. He just needs um, 36 to a 40. Extra revision. I'll just give Ooh. him on a yellow or green. 46. Exactly. Okay. A green. Boom. Okay. So you have found take down, that down to a secret panel that behind it there are stairs the going stair. down. And you remember Seraph, little girl told we'll you. To go down. Yeah. You just found the staircase. It's secretly behind the um, a secret panel they appeared out of. Um, well, they want to go down. Skimwalker's not doing anything right now. Luna, there's one right do now. my portal trick again and I'm picking the timer. Okay. Trying to heal up. Change into an animal, change back. Shape shift. But mm -hmm. he's got to wake up. Yeah. I can wake you up. <coughs> huh? 115. Did you say you added karma? Yeah. You yes, should. Um. Okay. He goes away. So I will give you. Um, 
Yes, you get 60 points of karma. For the, for the hand, hand and mm -hmm. only six worth of piece. Or ten worth of piece. Okay. <laughs> um, and you found the entrance to go downstairs behind a panel. Um, Can we come up? Go ahead. What do I roll on? Um, reason. What's your reason? Because I want to. 87. You learned that choking him is not a good way to wake him up. <laughs> but his pants get tighter. No. He likes to be choked. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, you wake him up. You is have... that a rocket in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? It's not a rocket. Make an endurance roll. <laughs> endurance? Yep. 71. You make it. What's his endurance? Endurance. You said it was typical. Good. Well, yeah. Typical to time? Yes. Great. So he has. He makes it. Six health points. Currently. Switch and switch. Switch and switch. Do you back. roll? Yeah, I'll change into. Roll. A. Just roll. Well, what is he change into? Yeah. Uh, 39. Okay. You have a what? Fox, smaller animal. Well, what do you have as? What's your rank? I was a bear. What oh. is your shape shifting rank? Uh, incredible. And you rolled a what? 39. Ah, damn it. He made it. If he failed because he's injured so badly, he could berserk and run off as the animal if he gets to be human. Well, they could go after he, me. He, he uh, changes you and starts yiping at you. Change back. Back in the human. Roll again. 44. Okay. Um, what's your power rank? 40? Incredible. Yeah. Yeah, 40. Uh, how much health do you usually have? 68. So you now have, I think, 46 because you had 6 before? So you have 46 because your rank's only incredible. Six. <laughs> so. Can't wake him up. Come on, change. Come on, I know you're almost dead. Change. It's good for you. <laughs> then I'm going to pick you up by your broken neck. <laughs> what do you guys do? I'm going back outside. Okay. I'm going to... Go try to break out. Go break into that where that panel is? Yeah. Make a strength roll. You're incredible. If you want to add karma, you can add up to 40. I'm going to add 25 karma. Okay. Just mark it off. And then roll. 28. Plus? You said 25? No, I'm... No, he rolled? No, no, no. He rolled an odd three, so that is a 28. So it doesn't make it, does it? Hold on. No. Okay. Need a 31. Apparently, no. you can't brute your way through strength through this thing. What I think? 25. Anybody else? I'm outside. Quit looking at me, people. They're not looking out the window. No! <laughs> well, I'm a fox, so... No, you're not! Oh, I transferred back to human? Yep. Yes. Okay. Let me see if I can open the door. <laughs> Make a reason check so you can discover the secret passage. 42? No. Okay. Seems the door is ignoring you guys. It doesn't like me. Let's see if you want to try. What you What's your do? reason? My reason is typical. 59. She doesn't have to. Hey, smart one. Portal it. You can just put a, a hole between here and there and let people walk through. Oh, yeah. I'll use my portal. Who's not there for you to make sick? Go ahead and roll. 
Are you controlled? It's amazing. Use it when she's not around. Twenty eight. It's not amazing. I didn't make it. What? No, yeah, you did. Oh, I did. Twenty eight? Yeah, barely. Twenty six to a thirty. Oh, I. You did it. You guys one. can walk through to the stairwell. And they 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 leave it. They they all walk through the hole and it disappears and you don't see them anymore as you went through the wall. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go find a drink. Okay. I need some booze. You're in low town, so there's probably any cars around. Actually, no, I need to stay there just in case the kid comes out. Okay. Are we still at this ball right here? No. No, you're not there anymore. You're at a uh, temple space. Oh. Um, I think it's more it looks like from here, this place spirals around downward. Like there's a great big open space to see down there. It's open so you can see it as far as they like actually, you know. Oh, by the way, update on the van. It runs perfectly now. Good. Okay. I did it. I did it. I did it. We did it. We did it. Because you helped. But I can't figure out how that goes back there. Now, as you guys go downstairs, fall on the stairs, it opens. There's one door on this floor. I'm going to try to open it. Okay. It opens, it's unlocked. Seated. Now, also, though, okay, the stairs you? don't go <laughs> down. <laughs> All you do is run around the outside of the circle. They don't have stairs going down, so you got to enter one of the rooms to find the way down. And you do. And seated, cross legged in the center of a chamber <laughs> is a man dressed in a green gi with golden oh, trim. He's a younger man. But it's the appearance of one that has faced many men in battle and lived to tell the tale. Surrounded by a group of individuals dressed in silver samurai attire, the man addresses the heroes without standing up. I think we just found a hand leader. I see that you have bested my fodder upstairs. There were my father. Merely an exercise to test your worthiness. My name is Singen Harada of the clan Fushida. You are my test. I have trained these samurai of silver as my personal guard. Combined with the techniques of the hand, with the ancient art of sword passed down to me by my father, and my father's father my before father. him, you shall not pass. In a group uh, three, actually, yeah, Silver Samurais move forward and looks at you guys. He's slowly getting up and kind of sizing you guys up. Do you work one day? Looks around at you guys. I was informed there would probably be more of you here. For we had spies at the uh, at Sarah's place. So this will be unnecessary. It's not fair. And he waves off, and one of the uh, samurai step out of the room. He wants to make sure it's equal. He's got two silver samurais. And then he looks at you guys. Well, I guess with these two being women, I will leave it to you that I will fight. He stands up. Bold man. Um, pulls Is out this room magical? Huh? Is there any magic items in this room? Tell me then. Um, this, the guys up top that, you fought, that they fought did not have any magic that you saw, except for whatever happens to them when they disappear, when they turn to dust. Not everyone can master magic, it's not that easy. So that means he is. You don't know. You're assuming so. I do know. As a player, I know. Well, 
as a player. Because somebody made the mistake of pinning him against me before. Nope. Yep. Nope. <laughs> I never had this guy's stats before. <coughs> Lord Shinjin Harada. Silver Samurais. But this is not the Silver Samurai. This is what led to someone becoming the Silver Samurai. It was first an entire unit of people. And the best one survived. Where's Randy? <laughs> or Danny Rand when we need him? He's the mover of the items. Ow, fuck. Luna getting a little pissy. And was um, like, you think I'm weak because I'm a girl? You have not dealt with my full, the full team yet. Uh, the Silver Samurai, who stands before you, says I am not above killing a female if my master commands it. And he has. But they're all kind of waiting for you guys to make the first move. First to go is not Rampage because he's not there. Miss America. Um, he can be there. But he's not. You're just... Looking at this building going, they're having all this fun without you. He keeps running in one room, room at a time and then runs back. Is your magic in there? Okay. There's none I'll come in. So you guys' job is to just keep him from being magically affected. Um, but first is Miss America. Guy standing in front of you with a samurai uniform that is entirely silver. Except for a red symbol of Japan on the front. What the hell are you doing in here? Why are you in here? Why are you bothering us? We're in their house. Yeah, you guys broke into his place. <laughs> but, um, he doesn't seem to speak English. Well, since I ain't doing shit. You play two dice? Um, it hurts. It hurts. I heard that one. That looks like a hurt. Okay. What are you going to do? Yes. You got to do something. I, I will be um, your consultant. Going to I'm going to cut you up. What do you think I should do? <laughs> You're not... Cutting me up for one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my neck and use my height for strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, you have to roll yeah, a yellow since so you're reaching for. What's your fighting ability? Her fighting is excellent. Okay. Well, you're trying to grab that strength, I guess. Now we're going to be grabbing. Yeah, that's strength. Um, and um, go point. ahead and roll. Here's your right. You'll need a 31. Well, actually, no yellow. Sorry. You, got, you added 40 to it? Yeah. 83. A, okay, you made a thing. She needed a 61. 83. Okay, you're doing a special attack. Okay. Um, roll a die 20. Where to go? On the floor. Right here. Do that again. I knew where it was because he hit me in the butt. Do that again. Mm. Ooh. Sixteen. Sixteen. 46. Okay. So now I need um, next to go is Skinwalker. Uh, with skin, I transferring into a, uh, a, either yet, a Bigfoot and I got a 96. Have you done this one? One time. Okay. That's a certain though. Okay. Lighten up a so little bit. I'm Bigfoot yeah. now. Okay. Listen to almost his size. 
So you change into Bigfoot. Yep. Okay. Better. Luna. I'm making a portal. I'm going to try to make mine disappear. Okay. Roll. Whee! And I've got that. Point five. That would uh, amazing. 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 45, you make it. Another green. Okay. Yours goes away, I guess. 60 points. Or 10 points, sorry. Oh, wait. So are 10 right? I don't know for sure. They are worth 10 points. Okay. Um, next is me. Me, 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 me. We got two of them. One on America. And she has them by the neck. He can still swing his weapon. Or he can attempt to escape. Uh, I think he's just going to try to attack. Me. 50 hits. Does 15 points damage. You can take that. Cut you with your sword. With his sword. And um, the master, who is on you, but you are a big foot. Yes, you're a foot of bigness. Um, that's not the right one. You're lucky. Seventy-one. Okay. Make an endurance roll. What's your endurance? Uh, 83. Endurance. Good. Good. 83. That is a yeller. Take 25 points damage as he stab, as he slices you. He made a yellow. Yep. You've resisted the poison that was on the blade. You're not unconscious yet, but you do feel its sapping effect on you. Actually, um, you made yeah, the roll. It was yellow, 30. right? Mm -hmm. You made a yellow roll? Yeah. It's 11.06. Okay. You uh, resisted the poison. Cool. But you can tell the blade is coated in it. Not very honorable, Ninja. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Um, yeah, especially since I'm helping now. He's actually yeah, Japanese yeah. underworld. He's Yakuza, but also in the hand. But he represents the equivalent. Um, so we're back to Rampage. You standing there? Yep. Okay. Miss America. Do you want to squeeze? Yes. Mm, make a strength roll. Strength. You could add six. I'm going to add six on my. Okay. Actually, you can add 40 because it's a Okay, add 40. Yeah. Okay, I'm add another 40 then on the way to the thing. Okay. Strength counts as incredible for her. 51! On incredible... Green. Rule that 20. 20. Two. <laughs> That's good enough. He goes down. You take 10 points to karma. <laughs> So, where do you even have your... Skinwalker. Well, I'm going to put... Uh, see if I can fight that. <laughs> you want to do to attack him? Yeah. What's your fighting? <laughs> uh, fighting <laughs> as the animal. As you. Or as me. Because it doesn't change those stats. Well, you just get his incredible that. strength. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, roll. Excellent. Roll. All right. Uh, can Bigfoots I... don't necessarily know how to fight. Mm -hmm. Can I put a... Devin, there. if you want, I could keep track of their... Okay. Um, for him, what's your... Um, your fighting? Yeah, fighting. I got it. Excellent, Excellent roll. Lot. Okay. Uh, can we put the car on that? Yes, yep. you have to, to before 20 you roll. points. Okay, I'll put the 20 on there. Okay. Oh, put that in. And roll. And... Sixty-eight. Uh, no, that's okay. eighty-eight. 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 So, that is a yellow. 
Roll die 20. Four. So that's, that's 34. Okay. Um, Luna? I am going to use my dark fourth hand. I haven't mastered it What's yet. It start? So it's 100 points to spend. And I have amazing, so I'm adding 50 to that. Okay. okay. Roll. So you're spending 150, right? Yeah. Okay. 68. What were you trying to do with your 68, hand? 68, amazing. Grab him. Just grab him? Yeah. That's a green. Okay, so you've grabbed him. Oh, wait, no, that's a yellow. Yellow for a grab? Yep. Grabbing. Uh, yellow is a grab. So you have him held. It closes up. It closes up. Um. I'm being a little sassy up, like, you think I'm weak now? <laughs> he says, no, I guess I was the one that was weak. And then he suddenly goes to them. Uh-huh. As foam starts coming out of the corner of his mouth. Cyanide capsule. So. You don't get any points for that. He killed himself. Or it might be half point. Um. Because he killed himself because she got a hold of him. You get 30 points. Wait. She was fighting a silver samurai? Nope. Silver samurai, the one in the comic books, hasn't existed yet. These are just regular people in sewer. The suits don't even give any armor. She, he was fighting the same one and you gave him 10. No, she just got rid of the, um, or took care of the guy that was in charge. She wasn't sort of samurai. He was the uh, Yakuza guy. He's he was fi fighting in both of them, so he can get 15. But he didn't do any How damage. How much did I get damage. in the combo? 30. 30. Okay. And as you guys look down, you look around and you'll find there's another door to another set of stairs. Let's go. But at that point, we call it. Because yep. 11 11. So, we're good night, everybody. There. We'll see you guys next time as we do this again every Friday. Sunday, though, we have fantasy, so don't miss that out.